you get to move around like Spider-Man. That's a good... That's good. <laughs> but, uh, hello, YouTube. Because I guess sometimes I do that. How you doing? It's Q time. We've got things to do. Oh yeah, this is where I look at requests. Okay. We need to take Teddy to find a love potion. Stop three is the Elizabeth fight. Does the Attack on Titan game control well? I assume it does, but you know. You never know. You want to play on easy mode and with horribly graphic violence? <laughs> You're getting used to it? Okay. I assume that just means that it's it's a little different, not that it's like bad, like it's floaty or something. Your companions seem to be having a serious discussion. Hey. Oh, it's you. Good timing. We're just talking about what's up ahead. Uh, did something happen? Um... Risei-chan and I were searching ahead, and we sensed a powerful presence. Mm. I think it's another Labyrinth Guardian. It seemed pretty close, probably on the next floor. Mm. In the previous Labyrinth, the Guardian appeared on the deepest floor. <laughs> it's about time one showed up. I'd even say that it took too long. My goodness. You have no sense of anxiety, Akihiko. We don't know what could be waiting for us this time. Mm. In you and Wonderland, it was the Queen of Hearts. Moving around with the steam-powered thing was weird in the tutorial, and then the first area didn't need it to jump over any tall walls. The controls come easier to you as you progress in the game. Which means this time it'll be the final boss of group dating? <sighs> I kind of want to see it, but at the same time, I kind of don't. <laughs> you want to see it? Uh, um... Well, I'm curious, is all. Aren't you? Hmm. Whatever the monster is like, our task is to defeat it. For that re for that rest and replenishment will be important. I see no reason to change our routine. Uh, um, um. I don't know if that was a typo, but actually, uh, I forgot a round of that actually. But hello, day nightfall. Ah. Uh, Gosh, I completely forgot. <sighs> Shit. Uh... Wait, I'm not in- wait, hold on. I'm not in mod view? Why am I not in mod view? Oh no, I- wait. Why does it- what? Huh? Huh? Okay, uh, I, uh, well, I'm in mod view now. Yeah, I just, ah, uh, yesterday made me forget I needed to, it's fine. I'll just focus on the game. <laughs> then we need to eat just like we always do. Oh, right. I'm not clicked on Citra. <laughs> um, 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 um. <laughs> Ray. <sighs> Ray, there's no need to be so scared. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aw. You pass some time with your companions. Hello, just unknown. Oh, 
Zikun. Perfect timing. I'm already not liking this. <laughs> we were just talking about a very interesting subject. The first dungeon in Shin Megami Tensei 4 is hard. Yes. <laughs> it's probably one of the most, if not the most, unforgiving tutorial slash first areas in an Atlas game. Hell, maybe even in a JRPG period. <laughs> Yukatan, this is an invasion of his privacy. Plus, I'm pretty sure there's not much for him to say. No, man. Uh, of course there is. Let me just establish that my partner is a real hit with the ladies. Just him, though. Oh, so not you. Oh. I feel for you, man. You do? <laughs> I do have a girlfriend, though. My lovely goddess, Chinorita. Ah, damn it! Wait, she's your girlfriend already? Whatever. Anyways. So, how goes it? Your love life, I mean. <sighs> like I said, there ain't really... I'm not really asking you, Kanji-kun. Huh? Hey, this is discrimination! You like Naoto-kun, don't you? What the... <laughs> Where the hell did you get that idea? Wait, you think people haven't noticed? That's the only real surprise here. Whoa! Uh, huh? What? That's... What? Uh... This is a perfect example of a man free-falling into panic. So, how are things going for you? I've got nothing. For real? Oh, come on. That's not no good. We're in high school. We've got to enjoy our youth while it lasts. <laughs> you should put yourself out there more. Like me, I first met my Chirita on the sidewalk. She made a really strong impression on me. Guess it was love at first sight. Or, you know, something. <sighs> Ugh. Last I checked, if I'm remembering correctly, your first encounter with her was that you were mad about something, and then Shidori told you to move. <laughs> she was like, get out of my way. I'm trying to look at something so I can draw, and you are standing in my view. Cease. And then he sat down next to her instead of just carrying on. But you know what? It all worked out. Mm. It all worked out. Yep. <laughs> Hello, Jeffo. Kanji, do you also want to pet Koro? <sighs> no! How could you say that? <laughs> it did all work out. Yes, not in the original game, but if you do the Junpei checks and Fez and Portable, yes. It worked out beautifully. Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah, show some consideration for Yosuke's head. He couldn't get a girl if he tried. Hey. Quiet, you. I'm popular with the ladies too, you know. Yeah, those hags that work at the Junez food court. Damn it. Damn it. You're right. I said I got nothing because I didn't go for anybody. All right, party. Let us arrange. We are bringing Teddy. It's not possible. <laughs> Yeah, you check on Junpei on certain days while she's in the hospital, uh, where he's like, I don't know what to do, she kind of doesn't want to see me, and you basically just tell him repeatedly, go see her, it'll be, f it'll all work out. Keep, keep trying, you've got this. Like, and he's like, yeah, you're right, and if you get them all, uh, 
after... Chidori still dies. Oh, it's a both thing. At least it should be, because it was in Fez, which was before Portable, right? Yeah. Um, if you pass all of them after a certain date goes by, um... I think the tell is that when Mitsuru calls, when they try to do an autopsy on Chidori, uh, it, she's informed that the body transmogrified. Transmogrified. So she, her body turned into a coffin at the during the dark hour, which I guess implies that dead people can't do that. <laughs> dead people don't transmogrify, much less people who had a persona who died. <laughs> so it is her living is considered canon. Uh, this is implied in Arena Ultimax. Uh, when you're doing side three, Junpei falls asleep on the train, which is how he winds up in Inaba, and he's having a dream where he's a baseball star. And right before he wakes up, um, he is about, he uses his, like, home run victory in the dream to, like, take the mic and propose to Chidori and he starts with cheat and then he wakes up. She does not appear physically in Arena Ultimax, but... If it's not canon, he is still incredibly hung up over it. <laughs> Which wouldn't really match his character growth as established even in just Persona 3. To the group date cafe! Teddy sniffles and snuffles and carefully thinks for a moment. Uh, it doesn't smell like there's a love potion on this floor. Let's try searching for it on another floor. Yeah, it's the floor we were just on. Also, people transferring their persona power is more common than you expected. Uh, my nose knows. Love potion is probably on this floor. East, but we're far away. Uh, there are three enemies. We get even if it only first. happens twice. I'll show you it's like power. the if I had a nickel for every time someone transferred their persona powers to another person. Well, I'd only have two nickels, but it's still strange that it happened twice. No, I have not. I don't- victory broke the sound I don't know if that I'd even stream it if I did ever play any of them. I will be going on ahead. Ah! FOE, confirm. Uh, south. Too bad there's an FOE right there. <laughs> Like I said, even if I did get them, Woo! I probably wouldn't stream them. Just because personal reasons that I won't really go into. West. Okay. 
so it is in this room going sort on of. Ahead. Here, isn't it? Fight. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Sensei, give me an awesome order. <laughs> an awesome order. <laughs> Your order is kill it. Great job, leader. Take a rest. Hey, Reese's level 70. That's an FOE over there. Woo! Yeah, exactly. Hmm, <laughs> the love potion is really close. It's to the west. This place looks suspicious. Why did you say that? It's here. The smell's coming from this dressing table. This is where the treasure lies. Here it is. Good job. Well done, Teddy. Now let's take it back to Elizabeth and turn in the request. Huh? Hey, what's going what's on? Matter? Isn't this the item she wanted us to find? Uh -huh. This is mine. It's got nothing to do with the request. Uh, hey. How soon is question? Fairly soonish. Uh, let me check floor four, which is the floor that we're on. There are. Three. This is the final one. Uh, assuming since this is the stairs, it's probably this. And then this. Yeah, and then bam. Final one. So there's three more questions. I don't know if you guys f f followed the ma mouse. You gotta do dishes for your cereal. Uh, I'm... What's the map for? To tell me where I am going. <laughs> but what? But it worked so hard, don't I deserve some sort of reward? Man, oh man. But it's a bit big, it is. Oh, come on. Uh, but... Just a little bit. It's a dream that every man has. Please let me be a lady's bear. Ugh, how are you such a child? Come on, you say something to him. Don't you drink it, bear. That's right, you'd better not drink it. <laughs> oh, I've seen this on Yosuke's TV before. When someone told, when someone told you to do something, you do the opposite. It's bear time! Which is why I'm going to drink it. B bottoms up! Freddy drinks the supposed love potion. W wait, hey, hold don't on. don't drink all of it. What about the request? Uh, how should uh, I put this? Hey, you're supposed to make the person you want to fall in love with you drink the potion? Uh, hey. I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> oh, right, I remember how this goes now. Oh, Aki, um... Are you mad at me? Good grief. Well, now that you drank it, there isn't much we can do. We'll have to go back to Elizabeth and apologize. I, I guess so. Uh... Is it just me? Or is it hot in here? <laughs> Take off that suit then. It's not like you haven't done it before. I've already promised myself that I'll only take it off in front of you alone, Aki. Oh, You're no. the one I want to see the real me. What? what the? Hey. I guess it works after all. Now run. Don't be ridiculous. Idiot, this isn't the time to be impressed by a potion. Come on, Aki. You always talk to Gaki when something interesting happens. It's not fair. What? Get no. away from me. Get away from me. Why are you running away? Why won't you love me, Aki? You're bearing me apart! <sighs> Shinjiro. I think it's a 
dubism for the nicknames. I don't know what Teddy calls them in Japanese, but it's Aki and Gaki. Yes, it's specifically pronounced like that. Um, because of uh, the Aki in Akihiko and the Gaki in Aragaki, which is Shinjiro's last name, which is why I'm like, it's probably a dubism, and they just wanted something that rhymed because it was cute. But I don't know. Crying out loud. Looks <laughs> like we'll have to wait until Teddy comes to his senses. There appears to be a little bit of the potion left in the bottle. You obtained the love potion. You should report to the nurse's office later. Great. <laughs> All right, now to fight Elizabeth. Do you think we could do it with Teddy? I mean, we're pretty strong, and Elizabeth. Over here! Uh, the how about a warm up is not uh that difficult. It opened. I don't think. What is the fastest way to get to? Uh. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. This is my job. We won! Yes, we did. We won, but we can't relax yet. Is Elizabeth the super boss in Q or is it the Reaper? The Reaper is an FOE in Q. Um, in the final dungeon, he appears on certain floors and chases the player down. That's he, an FOE. His pattern is that he moves twice towards you taking the shortest path, uh, and then stops for a turn. Let's go! Yes, the Reaper was in Q2. He was in one of those red, um, they weren't called power spots in that game. They were called treasure spots. He was in a red treasure spot in the final dungeon, uh, and it would go away after you attempted the fight, whether you ran or, um, lost. Uh, no, what it is is that you move, he moves, you move, he moves, you move, he doesn't move. That was basically how it was. Yes, I accidentally ran into the Reaper many times when I was first trying to map out the clock tower. Yeah, he moves twice and then stops. So he, so he can't, like, permanently cut you off anywhere, I'm assuming. But you still gotta be really careful. Because he flies. In the yeah, he, he moves for two turns and pauses for a single move. In the overworld. In the game, in the game, he probably just takes his turn and then you take your turn. I don't know if he has a special pattern to him. I just know that he is strong. I didn't actually attempt to fight him when I did side three, so we can rectify that. What is this power? It feels really dangerous. Next time we see him, we can just kill him. We'll see how difficult it is. <laughs> Elizabeth seems strong. Please try not to get hurt. Oh, but I guess you could have her treat you if that happens. She does run the nurse's office after all. Isn't that kind of... um... Yeah. What is it they say about Q2's method was definitely. I don't. I didn't really. It was weird because I would still call them power spots sometimes. I liked the map making in Q2 a lot more. It had more tools and unique like items to use to explain some of the special shit. They didn't have something for the warps though. Um, it's in her best interests. But stuff like rotating cage and. Um, electric fence and alternating locked doors and the fact that you could color code them too made mapping things actually really fun i don't mind the way this one works but it's like once it had the extra stuff in q2 i was like "Ooh, this is nice <laughs> it's a conflict of interests <laughs> oh that's it yeah that makes way more sense <laughs> Whoops, I got it wrong. Well, now that's been cleared up. Shall we fight Elizabeth? <laughs> yeah, 
stop predicting the game, just unknown. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Hello, Elizabeth. I've been so engrossed in my research it's fine. that my joints have gotten all stiff. I can hear my bones cracking. To start off, I will fight you as if I'm warming up. Miss, why do we have to fight? Armageddon. Teddy, the answer is simple. <laughs> all right. Let me warm up for a little bit. She does a few cursory stretches and she's like, Alright, I'm warmed up. Arm just fucking Maggie Dolans us into the ground. Perhaps because this isn't Tartarus or the TV world, but you're all rather somewhat pretty, absolutely, still on the path of growing stronger. Huh? You're weak. Very, extremely weak. To the point that I have to do a double take. Oh my! That is why I'm overstepping my bounds to do you a solid. It's funny because we're like level 70. Please come at me with the best <laughs> you have as of this moment. This lady isn't nice. We gotta teach her a lesson. Don't hold anything back, okay? Okay. Well then, here goes. Here we go. Your it's fate new is in the card. <gasps> I wonder if I can just mash. This persona and I shall be your opponents for this battle. Please demonstrate your power to me. Okay, no, she I sticks to a singular persona. She's not like Margaret where she switched. Go, everyone! Wow, I never... Did I really never figure out what she was weak to? No, I'll treat her with some respect. How much HP do you have? Oh, yeah, you have more than I thought. I mean, when you play it on the DS, it's probably better. Emulator, it's kind of like, oh. Prepare yourself. Or Gia mode. Go, come on! Oh, she's weak to ice. No, she's not. He just. Is this the extent of your power? <laughs> Dainty though I am. Respect. I do have some knowledge. You're way more forgiving than I am. There is no need to hold back. Please approach me with the intent to kill. Igus has activated her Orgia mode. Her battle power has increased. Full power! Here I go. Call an enemy! 16 and a half hours? Uh, nice crit. Please. Ah, uh, that's not good. It is time. Athena. Leader, you might not be able to move in your current condition. Oh, that only affects one thing. That sucks. No! Feminine Athena! Target lost! This is the Thank goodness she was able to move. Do that 800 damage. Deactivating Orgia. For a brief instant, I felt as if I saw an oasis in the desert. However, the battle is not yet over. Take care not to exhaust yourself. I guess is overheated. She won't be able to move for a while. I am burned to white ash. Go, he's 
Izanagi no Oka. There we go. I'm doing it. I love how critting for 200 damage, meanwhile, power charge, brain shake did like 800. Ah. Go, come on! There is one enemy remaining. I'm low on energy, so let's get physical! It's not gonna go coming! Here we go! The Duke is gone again! 800 damage yeah. and she fell asleep. And then I woke her up. That is more like it. I shall shift into the corresponding gear. I hope that you enjoy this battle to its very end. One enemy left! Uh-oh! I'm running low on Persona Juice! It's fine, Teddy. You're good. I'm doing it! Call an enemy! <laughs> Take six! Do not get no Okami! Well, that's Oribus done. Oh, cool! Cusith has one more level to go. Well done. I have indeed sensed the latent power within you. It seems you still have quite a ways left to grow. I'm relieved to learn this. Your reward will be given to you in the nurse's office. Now then, I'll go on ahead. Okay. <laughs> it would seem that Elizabeth has returned to the nurse's office. You should report to the nurse's office later. Faded out and then oh. came back in, oh. but then switched to the workshop I await theme. What? Visit. I've debated getting mine modded, but I use it like for personal stuff too, anyway, so it's like. It's muster. Main. It's what we've been using. I wonder if I should experiment and try something else. We shall see, but nurse's office first. Well. We got that love potion. I see. <laughs> he imbibed the potion. How touching! He even volunteered to become a test subject. Now I can give this to Theo without any reservations. I'm sure he would be very glad as well. This will now be then, your reward. This will be your reward. Please accept it as you will. I'm gonna sell that. And then time for a warm up. Thank you for agreeing to my request. Here is your reward for this time. Scarlet Brace. Having this in your possession will allow you to create a certain new persona through fusion. Please accept it. Perhaps it's because it's been a while since I last stretched myself like this, but I feel very good. I certainly wish to have another bout with you at some other time, just as a means of recreation. Nice. idea. Okay, let, let me see. She and Ken. Mm -hmm. 
they're running low. So I should bring different people. Let's bring Mitsuru. And... Uh, why are all the Bash characters, except for I guess front row? Bring you Akari, why not? I want to do that. If I gave it to Igus instead. The Rouge Ring really would not work on her, though, would it? Let me look their status. Yeah, no. Punishment, I believe, is a physical skill, but... And she doesn't have any. So Rudra wouldn't work either. I mean, she'd do better with... Chakra Ring. team for a little bit. I should probably... Well, yeah, I'm just not you I'm- I'm purposefully not really using him. We'll keep it the same. Just for quick swapping and swapping back. Yeah, I'm just not using him because I used him for most of, if not the entire playthrough when we did side three. I kind of want to use more characters. <laughs> Speaking of, personas. is done. She can have more shoes with her. I guess he can keep Alp for now. Alright. Back to progressing. Front row bash sounds like they're having a little get together. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? That means you can gain 33 levels. You're right. Ah! Ah! Damn! Kill them! Away. Whatever you do, I don't missed. let it get away. <laughs> Escape. Seriously? 
missed. I missed. Oh my god, does she have a fancy gear on? Seriously? You missed. Execution complete. Why is it doing something fancy? Let's prepare for the next battle. Congrats on leveling up. What? Hmm. I know. Hmm. Of course. Yeah. Huh. Agility binds. Yeah. Okay, hmm. <sighs> um. What the hell does she have equipped? Oh, she has a. Huh! She's. Huh. Interesting. I don't know when I gave that to her. It had to be sometime last playthrough. It doesn't do much. Because I think. Yeah, the moth fan. Oh no. Who had their weapon? Did anybody have their weapon? I don't think anybody got theirs. Oh, hand. So, Mitsuru just has a weapon that makes her attacks lightning element. That's cool. <laughs> this area seems suspicious. It might be worth searching around. There's a bag on the table. It's filled with sweets. You reach towards it. You! Wait just a moment. Don't you think it's risky for the leader to be the first to eat something so strange? Yeah, it's too dangerous. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna taste it first. Cut it you out. better not be saying that just because you want to eat one. <sighs> Don't, man. You'll just end up with an upset stomach. <laughs> I guess everyone's hungry. That's right! Those who don't get lost, don't eat! Huh? What? Those who don't get lost, don't eat. Come on, that sentence structure makes no sense at all. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna eat this, right? <laughs> oh, this is good. I'm on a diet right now, but I guess a little bit won't hurt, right? <laughs> Those who don't eat won't never yet lose weight, Yuka chan. <sighs> You're using so many words that they stopped meaning anything. <laughs> There were snacks for dogs as well. Koromaru-san is very satisfied. Yay! There's not a few left. What do you guys say? Hmm. Ah, uh, I'll pass. If I eat any more, so long, diet. I think we've had enough. Guess it's better to eat in moderation, huh? <laughs> okay, lesson learned. Let's go! You can't invest- yeah, okay. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. That face is way too evil for an angel. <laughs> ah, not magic bind. Good one, leader. Amazing! And Yukari is level 67. Nice. Look over there. A power spy. This is nothing. Okay. There's still more up ahead. There's a treasure box up ahead. Nice. Blazing flame. Oh god. That's an FOE over there, right? We should be careful. It is a treasure box. Do you wish that we open it? Shall I destroy it? Well, now I know why Megido was a thing. I 
think I... Yeah, I got past them all. Nice. Inside the Group Date Cafe Labyrinth. Oh, this group date business is harder than I had anticipated. This definitely ain't a group date, though. Huh? It's not? You search for your destined partner, right? Men and women herded together hunt each other's hearts in an ordeal of love! That is a true group date! Men and women herded together gulp each other's tarts in a roast turkey a la carte? I want to do a real group date! I see. What? Then let's begin. Those participating must line up. There's no need for that. This is a shadow's lair. Holding something so involved as a group date here is out of the question. Group dates take that much effort? What? No. It's just guys and girls chatting with each other. Though, depending on how things go, it can head south fast and turn into an ugly mess. You're talking about you guys' group date cafe. So that's what they're like. I didn't think there were things even you didn't know about, Mitsuru Senpai. Then like again, a mixer. I'd be shocked if you did know a lot about group dating. What? KBB? Are you okay? I think KBB got confused. Now I need to see, are you functioning properly? Bot? <laughs> I've never seen it do that. We've said Zen's name before, too. Yeah! It's just Goblin Ken. Bizarre. Yeah, all the keywords are Ken. I think KVB just got really, really, really... Oh! I missed it! It was day nightfall! You guys sent a message at the exact same time, so I thought Jumpy tripped it when, she, when he said Zen, not Goblin Ken being a literal child. Oh, I'm sorry, day nightfall. I didn't realize you had written that. I was like... <laughs> There's like a green rectangle around whenever KBB speaks, so I just looked at the message right above that to be like, oh, who set him off? <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was just kind of like, what? It wasn't that KBB was wrong or got messed up. It's just that two messages got sent into chat at the same time. Let's do this. What? Senpai? The group date thing. Let's do this. Huh? She might actually be more easily riled up than Akihiko Senpai. Do a real group date too. I didn't get to be in the one Yosuke and everyone did. I'm making my raging entrance now. Oh, oh yeah, because this is when we did the uh, we did a mock group date with the Persona Four girls and the Persona Three guys. So now it's the reverse because this is side four. It's the Persona Three girls with the Persona Four guys. Time to line up, GeckoCon girls! What? Hey! For real? You know, when we made Akihiko read Marie's poem. <laughs> Bring it on! Group date ho! It appears that you have been coerced into taking part in a group date cafe. Before you know it, you've been coerced into participating in the group date. 
I sense that my amorous adventure is about to begin. This again. And then we reloaded the game and made everybody read it. <laughs> like, we kept reloading that that interaction repeatedly to see how everyone read it, and I think I saved Akihiko for last. Don't say it like that. At least call it round two or something. So, this is the storied group date. Jeez, why do I have to take part in a group date with Junpei and shadows around? So, so, so! So? What did we do? <laughs> well, when we did it at the culture festival, we started by asking some questions. Everything after that is a hazy blur. It's too painful to remember. We totally bit it. I see. We must brace ourselves, then. <laughs> I practiced every single day to prepare for an actual group date. So, ta-da! Pen and paper! Pen and paper? Are we going to write letters with these? No, no, no! We're gonna play a question game. The rules are that each person writes down one question and then puts the paper in a box. Once everyone's questions are in, everyone draws a paper from the box and answers the question on it. See? Simple, right? You even have a box ready? Can't you put some of that passion into your job? Neither of these questions are good, <laughs> but I want to see both. Why are we playing this? That's a good one. All right, they're all in. And I guess we'll draw randomly from the box. Here you go, Yuka-chan. Yuka-chan? That's kind of cute. Oh, please don't let me draw a weird one. Let's see. It says, who would you choose for your boyfriend amongst us? It's your question. Whoa, right to the point already? Yeah, seriously. I don't even know much about everyone yet. I'd definitely be the top choice. Not only am I adorable and huggable, I'm a pretty boy He calls boy her Yucatan. I don't... Yeah, definitely not you. what that honorific... What? Oh, huh. well, Kanji-kun. Huh? M me Isn't even up for debate. Aww. Debate? After that, Yosuke-kun. Uh, um, me next? Doesn't seem right either. Thought so. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> I guess if it had to be from this group, it would be him. He seems nice and calm. Lo and behold, Yukari gave your name as a boyfriend candidate. Yes, he seems trusted by his companions. A promising choice. But only if I have to pick from this group, okay? Here, you're next, Rachan. Okay, I'm gonna draw one with all my might. Got one! Um, what's your type? That's all it says! That's a pretty normal question, though I bet I can already guess what Rachan's gonna say. Hello, Daves. Tongue and ribs if it's beef, loin if it's pork, and wings if it's chicken. What kind of Chinese is that? Those are just types of meat. <laughs> Liver is yucky. Oh, you're different than Chiai Senpai there. I believe your type pertains to the type of person you are drawn to in the opposite sex. W what? M my type? Uh, um, well. It's Zen, right? Kun, have you ever heard of a thing called tact? Tact? Huh? Uh, never mind. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how to answer what type of person I like. Uh, I mean, I like Zen, but like? Uh, uh, um, ah! Please calm down. We all completely understand, so there is no need to correct yourself. She doesn't know what to do. Ray hands you the box and you decide to draw a question from it. It says, what kind of cosplay do you like? Ooh, you drew that one? Man, that's every guy's That's an fantasy, odd huh? dance. So you wrote that. 
How should you answer? Okay, I need to check. If I look into these load states, okay, 4-4 four, four, it's 16 hours 36, and 4-4 four, four, it's 16 hours 39 minutes. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> well, may as well do them all. We did it for side three, may as well do it for side four. Maid is least evil, this is true. It's the most neutral. Ugh, guys really love maids, don't they? Shut the fuck up, Yukari. <laughs> if not for that typhoon, I'd have had to put on the whole Welcome Master Act at our culture festival, too. Ooh, Yukari-san in a maid costume. So perfect. Hey, are you imagining it without my consent? You better pay up. Fantasizing is priceless, but I'd rather take orders than give them. Of course, I'd want Michon to give them. <laughs> Is that so? Okay, your next kanji. <laughs> Yosuke, you like next. Huh? Me? Let's see here. Who would you want to smooch? What? No! I can't believe kanji got that one. <gasps> You're not gonna say me, are you? Who, who the hell would say that? I mean, this smooch and stuff? I ain't saying nothing. Yeah, talking about kisses might be a little too early for Kanji now. What? Like you're one to talk? Look me in the eye and tell me you got some experience there. Dude, shut up! I'm saving mine. I want my first one to be like at a nice park where you can see the ocean. And it'd start, aren't you cold? And then I'd go like, here, come closer and stuff. You get the idea? Right? Right? Oh no! Well, now I have to make another one! Good luck! <laughs> Why are you acting so cheesy? Dude, don't tell me. Are you one step ahead of me? You fix yours game with a gentle gaze. Hey, don't you think that's enough of this? Oh, right. I guess we'll call it a wrap. <sighs> this was so much fun! I'm glad to hear that. This didn't turn out any better than last time. Don't mention it. Okay. Ah! No! It's only I don't want to fight! Let's make sure to defeat it quickly. Uh, <laughs> no. Hey, don't go all quiet on me. This is way too embarrassing on my own. Hey, don't you think that's enough of okay, this? Okay, that one wasn't that interesting. However, there's still one more. <coughs> I'm so sorry, Yosuke. Actually, a while ago... Earlier? Huh? something happen? You should leave him be. Hey. Okay, none of those were that interesting. Don't you think that's enough of this? Alright, we'll do this one. Nurse outfits. Yosuke loves nurses too. He said the difference between their pure image and their naughty side is heavenly. Well, why are you telling everyone that? I mean, I never said that. But the other day, on your computer, there was... Ah, no, no, stop it! Wait, you were going through my PC without my permission? How dare you! Oh, I'm gonna make a hell shift for you! Apologize all you want, but I am not forgiving you this time! No! Yosuke's punches are too heavy for my heart! Uh, that's enough of that, so let's keep going. Okay, you... Huh? Is it the same? Who would you want to smooch? Just to be sure. Is it all the same? Am I right? Right? Yes. It is exactly the same. It's just like little details that are different. Well, time to be weird. What? Whoa, hey, that's 
So rather than one's appearance, the inner self is more important. Two different interpretations to that piece. statement. Let's go. Oh, that's how you meant it. Well, I had thought... Well then, I will cast off my bear skin and bear all to you, Minchan. Yeah, yeah, keep it all in. Okay, you're next, Kanji. Okay. All right. Now, go all the way back. And I write a really gross question. <laughs> you wrote down the question and put it in the box. All right, all I'm supposed to draw a slip of paper. No, Mitsuru! Uh. uh. What did it say? Um, th this is just... Let's see here. Tell me your measurements? It's your question! I, I don't know these things. I have Mitsuru-san's physical <gasps> data in my mind. I guess no! Her measurements are from the top. I guess you don't have to say them. More to the point, who wrote this disgusting question? They must be executed. Yikes, your persona's about to pop. Please punish me. You sense that your life is in danger. After dodging the issue somehow, you manage to get everyone to move on to the next question. Well then, it's my turn next. Okay, so the line of questioning does change. Let's see. Who would you want to smooch? Oh, this was my question. Figured. The person I'd want to smooch is Mitchon. <laughs> I said it! See, you almost got us all killed. I did. I did, but it was necessary. We needed to see both rounds. I have never imagined there were cafes like this. <laughs> Seems there's much I've yet to learn. You're totally ignoring me now, too? But I love how icy you are. I'm captivated by your adult charms. So unlike Yuki-chan and Chi-chan's. They will come over to this table and kill you. I imagine that what it is is that we're doing this while the other one is going on. So meanwhile, right about now, Akihiko is reading Marie's poem. <laughs> Whereas Mitsuru, we're trying we tried to calm down Mitsuru from killing everyone. <laughs> hmm, that's true. Chie and the other girls are great, but I wish they had some more curves and stuff. Wow. Senpai, don't you think Risei is listening in on this? Just kidding! Ah, that was all a joke! Oh, yeah! You haven't drawn one yet, have you? Here, you're next. Yosuke hands you the box and send you to decide to pull a question out. It says, who is your type? Oh, now that's a common one. Questions like these liven things up. How will you respond? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to save and do this one! I have to! We'll just go down the line. I like meat cereal. It's just cool. What? Where is this coming from? <laughs> Not of oh, you. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to react to times like this. Oh, so you go for the cool older sister type. Yeah, we don't have one of those, do we? Can we move on now? And stop staring at me? Well, I'll go next. Uh, let's see here. Mm, I get the feeling that his is all the same, so I'm gonna load state for all of these. Huh? Me? Oh, thanks. Wait, that's not right. We don't have a girl like Yukari-san in our group, it's true. She's got a city girl's charm about her. They left it up to Akiko to read the poem. Yeah, they were he wasn't forced into it at all. To say. It's not like they played Jeez, a game where they had to talk about uh, toppings on ramen and the idiot immediately starts with <laughs> protein powder or whatever, and it's just like, that's not no. <laughs> also, hello, Krim. Well, I'll go next. Not quite yet, Yosuke. I guess. Me? True. Aichan's so cute that it's hard to believe she's a robot. Race doesn't matter if you've got love. So, Aichan, 
why don't we cultivate the love between a robot and a bear? That is impossible. Is it not enough to just say no? Well, I'll go next. All right. Two more. No. <laughs> no, no, your other. What? Ah, the cute little sister type, huh? Too bad Rei-chan's already got her Prince Zen. Mm-hmm. Zen's always nice and he looks after me. That's why Thanks, I like I guess. him. Wow, that's bold. <laughs> that's not what I meant! I do like Zen, but that wasn't it! Like? Uh, um, ah! Please calm down. We all completely understand. So there is no need to correct yourself. Well, All right. I'll go next. Last one. We asked for Mitsuru's measurements, and then we piss all of them off by going, none of you. <laughs> Dude, that's a terrible thing to say in front of the girls. Ah, you're so choosy, Sensei. I like Michan, Yuka-chan, Rei-chan, Ai-chan, everyone. You need to look up the word fidelity. Well, okay. I'll <laughs> go next. Uh, let's see here. What do you think about a younger guy who likes crafts? Aw, it was kanjis! Kanji. An awfully specific question, don't you think? What? Why are you assuming I wrote it? Who besides you would write that? Why didn't you consider that a guy might draw it? Hey, I can write whatever I want. So, what's your answer? Huh? Why do you want an answer? Oh, uh, well... I think a younger girl who likes crafts would be cute. What? Then he's saying dudes are out of the question? I keep saying it's that kind of phrasing that makes you... I mean, you're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Please do me a favor and admit it. Hey, don't you think that's enough of this? He just wants to know that if it's... If, if it, it's a weird or deal-breaker. It's okay, Kanji. You can be yourself. You don't need oh, Yosuke right. of all people to I guess we'll give call it a you wrap. positive affirmation of that. <sighs> this was so much fun! I'm glad to hear that. This didn't turn out any better than last time. Don't mention it. And then we get into a fight. It's only one enemy. Let's make sure to defeat it quickly. Hmm, he'd be cute if he were smaller. I guess because, oh yeah, this type of enemy doesn't exist in three. No one ever gives up. Well Great job, leader. Take a rest. It happened again. Because we got into a fight immediately after a hangout, the Over music here. stopped working. Last time I saved and quit. I'm detecting signals from an FOE. Please be careful. So maybe if it doesn't break. That is no ordinary wall. It's so I suggest we uncomfortable. It's an FOE. Stay on your guard. Ah, get shit. It together. It's dangerous to get that close to the it's FOE. So weird with no music. What's that, punk? Not cool shooting at us from over where we can't reach. Get over here and Huh? It does. What's this feeling? Is spring in the air? I'm picking up an anomaly in kanji con kanji circuits and- This is- hmm? My entire body is being forced to move forward. <clears throat> Our legs are moving on their own. Huh? Later, everyone's acting strange since getting hit by that arrow. You're all moving towards the FOE. Please snap out of it! Luckily it wore off immediately because- 
Uh, we're not gonna make this, are we? And then the music comes back. Let's just see what happens. It seems that it didn't break anything, but it's very ominous, the lack of sound. <laughs> And then the music came back. Okay, cool. It was just for that. Can we check out that wall over there? Something about it bothers me. This is true. It wasn't completely dead silent. All right, another question. <laughs> yeah, she just plugged it back in. <laughs> Hello, in the depths of the depths. The preparations for the finale are complete. Proceed with sweaty palms. No. Huh? Preparations? Finale? Sugar plums? Huh? What? <laughs> he said we'd have sweetie plums. Hmm. I see. I want mine with extra honey. Here comes the very sweaty question number eight. What's the first thing you get in line for at the... We've seen park. this one. Go! Footsteps added to the ambiance. <laughs> Let's see how you guys are doing. I see... We... Hmm. Since you've been to an amusement park, roller coaster seems to be winning. I'm so I really want to know who chat gets because I'm like, I'm not sure. Genuinely unsure. Coasters are pretty cool. There are some that I won't ride, though. <laughs> I have teacups at home. <laughs> Coasters is the winner. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> ah, good choice. I bet that'd be great training. <laughs> That's really cool, Lucky. He goes on. Mm. I wonder if it's a bit childish. That's the third time Ken has shown up. I'm scared. <laughs> Let's go already. There's a power spot up ahead. Why don't we take a look at it? <sighs> dead end over here, dead end over there. 
And I don't feel like we're making much progress. I really don't want Ken. <laughs> I can't wait get I can't wait to get back and see Cheetah Rita. What the hell? What kind of defeatist talk is that? I feel like someone's rubbing my nerves with bare hands. Don't listen to him. Just keep going. Mm. Aw, you two are so mean. <laughs> hey, how things been with you, Akihiko san? Still brushing off those fans chasing you around? Huh? Huh? Akihiko san, you have fans chasing you? Why did just Ken proc the goblin? Uh, cause I added that when I was checking to see if it was because there was, like, Zen in there. I may remove it. If we come across a character whose name happens to be Ken, I will- I will remove it, but... <laughs> now just Ken procs Goblin Ken. Not just Goblin, though, because Goblins will come up in conversation a lot more frequently than Ken, I believe, and not be referring to Goblin Ken. <laughs> they just follow me around. To be honest, they're nothing but a thorn in my side. I feel like someone worked over my nerves with brass knuckles on. If I don't give them attention, they start whining, saying they want to see me at least once a week. Don't they know how bad that wasted time is for my build? I'll get weak if I'm bogged down dealing with them. Don't you think? Find yourself a buff girl. What? D there are girls like that? Where would I meet them? At the gym? Uh... Uh, those girls do it for health reasons. They're not obsessive about it like you. Well, either way, I don't have time to spend on things like love. Let's hurry on. <laughs> you think this is a bad idea? You think I've taken... <laughs> a bad path? <sighs> I think my heart just took the kind of damage you can't cure at the nurse's office. Before the fruitless guy talk gets out of hand, you decide to return to your investigation. I really don't want Ken. If we get Ken, I will load. Which is convenient because my first. our last save a was right shadow. before this is a the question type. room. Because I was making save states to do the, the group date thing. Yeah, nah. Oh yeah. Are you <laughs> Ignore me, them? enemy. Just kill it. But that, yeah. <laughs> the, the bot ended. decides. The results of the battle are compiled. Oh, they magnifique. Man, Anubis is level 39. Ah, 
Ah, oh, she doesn't have anything. That's so inconvenient. Yeah, we did, because I was like, I don't know what to do. Cool, his magic bind, yeah, we're wrong. Wow. Ah! <laughs> oh, the sweet smell of victory. An increase in my persona's power is confirmed. That wall up there looks kind of fishy. Let's check it out. Well, with seven, my money. Megido, it's fine. That's a good card, but I don't need it. Winning in group dates. Your companions are gathered here. Oh, Sensei! Sensei, do you want to try yo-yo fishing with these beautiful babes too? Sure, I'll join in. Oh. Ah, so you are going to fish as well. Do you think that you can do better than me? Margaret's seriously good at it. <gasps> you callow strumpet! I'll crush you if you don't use the proper form of respect! That was my attempt at making my sister. What did you think? Honestly, it was nothing like me. Not at all. That was dead on. The Velvet Room residents seem to be having fun together. Now that I think In any case, this yo-yo fishing. Aren't we clearly fishing for water balloons rather than yo-yos? Hmm, you make a good point. <laughs> you got a lot of them, Yo-chan. Huh? Did you use bait? Is that dried squid on the end? No, man. Balloons don't eat dried squid. No way! Why not? It's so good! It's good and all, but they still don't eat it. Hmm. It's good, but they don't eat it? Are they monks in training? What the hell? They're balloons! <laughs> Getting back on subject, you're really good at this, Yosuke Senpai. How come you weren't this good when we had that group date thing? <sighs> Ugh, the group date. I'd rather not remember that. Group date? I have heard of these before. Uh... Probably from that bear, right? It's the Crossroads of Destiny, or something like that. Oh. oh, is that so? I thought it's when strangers come together and have superficial chats in order to make snap judgments. Or at least, so I've heard. Oh. Whoa, this lady's starting to scare me. Group date. <laughs> that is the truth of the universe. You know what? Forget it. <laughs> you were just like always, even during the group date, Sensei! How can I be more like you? Uh, I don't know. Empty it. <laughs> oh, I see! I it. I'll do just that! <laughs> the balloons don't get squid because they're full of shoes. I don't think that's how that works! Hmm. Empty! 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 Ah, I'm almost empty! <sighs> no, you're not. I'm pretty sure that's the farthest thing from emptying your mind. Are you guys done talking? Hmm. I can't hit anything with this pop gun. I want to win that sheep doll. You decide to try your hand at the shooting gallery with Marie. Hello, Aria Symphonia. <laughs> Have some time with your companions. Okay, that was pretty normal. 
interactions. Let's change it up again, why not? I still need to work on Igus, but I can look, okay, let's look at these levels. Ooh. idea. Couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell you why. Though. I need a Pierce. Some character. Oh my god, they're all at the same level, aren't they? Yeah. That's a weird party, but that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody has growth. There we go. Merge weight. No, Chi with the high SP would be good. Puja ring. Do that. Ugh, the defense is sad. Unfortunately, I need to spend money at the nurse's office again. Well, will be sad. Because when you put on items that up Please there, come again. Played a whole lot of this game. The grind is real, but also really fun. This is true. It is quite fun. HP. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put sub personas. Shit. I always forget to do that. We won. How'd I do? Speaking of sub personas, I need to get another one. I don't know why it hasn't given me any new ones. Okay. is done.
Look at me as just a girl, and you won't live to regret it. <laughs> oh, that's just lovely. Huh? Huh? It should be fine, maybe. Hey, she actually attacked the enemy. Yeah, that's right. Square. <laughs> that was that. Let's keep training. Nice. We have not had... We have not run into much <laughs> enemies inside power spots. <laughs> they may be weak, but there's five of them. Please be careful. Leave we may it to actually me. fight this one this. normally. There's no Stona, and I don't want to have to be forced to leave again. Charge. Did like 800 leader. damage to Elizabeth. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Wonder, did, did Shinji ever do that much damage when I used him? <sighs> Hello, Theta. We've been going back and forth. Mm. Is there really a way out of here? It's always possible that there isn't one. Don't worry, I'm sure there's an exit somewhere. Let's stay positive and keep going. Yeah. You say Sans probably right. Let's keep trying a little longer. Y you're right. Sorry about that. I guess our pessimism pessimism was showing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let's get fired up and keep plugging away. Thanks, Risu san. Pretty good at cheering people up. Please. Flattering me won't get you anywhere. G got it? Oh, and make sure you don't push yourself either, senpai. Let's take a break together when you get back. <laughs> she must really like you. But senpai, never keep your promises to me. <laughs> I get sad too, you know. Rise-chan! Um, Rise-chan's crying. Yeah, yeah, feels worse than ellipses, but neither of them are good. <laughs> Oh, you figured out that I was just fake crying? Huh? 
<laughs> well, so much for that. I'll cry for real next time, though. Th those were fake tears? You say John's amazing. Hmm. Dealt with that fierce front like it was nothing. I'm actually more scared of you than of her. Hmm? Huh? Something happened just now? You need to work on your normal people senses. You decide to return to your investigation. <laughs> Does he? Hold on. What did I give you? What are your stats? Oh. Yeah, that's what I did. Because he learned that normally. These, I think these top ones are, are his. And then I was like, but what if I also just gave him this hand power chart. <laughs> uh, it wasn't Aeon Rain like in Q2, but. <laughs> what did I do to you? <laughs> the goal of making him a weapon of mass destruction. I always inadvertently do that, don't I? I'd set up revenge blow. Make uh Joker <laughs> How'd I do? set up the crit rate up for his row. Then on the next turn he would shield everybody. <laughs> and then he'd do the revenge blow. <laughs> and then he used stay on rain. <laughs> Here I come! Oh right, this room that Done a treasure box. Chest. Go on ahead. You think it's very much advertent? It probably is. To be honest, you're yeah. It opened! Oh shit! That FOE is really close! Mm. Let's see. Who do I think I want for my final party? Uh I mean it changes. There is one thing that I wanted to mess with. It was a discussion feet. forum that I you found after I had beaten me that I guess in Orgia mode while using Shura Tensei could one-shot <laughs> stuff, and I kind of want to do that yeah. really badly. Also, ah, Kanji! <laughs> How'd I do? I kind of really badly want to do Come that. On. We already had our Let's fun with... Here. Uh, we already had our fun with Impure Reach Nauto. Huh? There's something strange about that wall over there. Let's see. This is just treasure. That wall's bugging me. It's weirding me out. Hey, don't do that yet. It's those ones that you have to be looking at. Got it. Over here. This seems to be a dead end. Hmm. So pink in this labyrinth that it's putting me off my game. That reminds me, you live in a dorm, right? How did you decorate your room? Is it like your cardigan? <laughs> Ooh, I want to know too. Tell me. Uh, um, um, it's nothing much. All right, then enjoy your lurk. Seems girls have started chatting amongst themselves. Hey! Hey, girls! That's no use. They're not listening at all. <laughs> and now's the perfect time for some guy talk, too! Is this going to be you talking to hear yourself talk again? No. -uh. Nah, I'm always serious about everything. I feel like we're missing a team name for our whole group. <gasps> huh? A team name, huh? Yep, one for the combined forces of Team Gecko and Team Yasuo. <laughs> the one thing no self-respecting team can be without. A name. <sighs> you sure love that corny stuff, Junpei. I, I don't think it's a bad idea. I mean, adding words like ranger or squadron would make it feel more like we're fighting for justice. Oh, uh, um, I mean, I, that's um, what most people think. I just happen to remember my friend saying that. Hmm. Seems a little too hipster. I like the old, kind of lame-sounding words like super and neo more. 
Oh, oh. what about Juness? We could be the Super Juness Rangers. Uh, no. Ooh, nice. Nice crap. Honestly. Yosuke san, you gotta take this more seriously. D sorry. Everyone's chiming in with their own ideas. It seems as their leader, you'll have to be the one to settle this. Oh my god, what was it? It was ultra something. What was it last time? Ultra power unit, that's what it was. Do we call ourselves that again? <laughs> do we come up with a new one because we're a different protagonist? Or do we, for the sake of posterity, keep it ultra power unit? that I remember. The middle word would be power. <laughs> the last word will be unit. <laughs> yes. Huh? Ultra power unit? Mm. Partner, I think we need to have a talk about your taste in these things. I don't hate it at all. I think it's a wonderful name. Huh. Okay. Let's go with that. Over here. Hey, dudes. It's time to get going. Come on, don't call us over in such a boring way. <laughs> Do you have a mission for the Ultra Power Unit? What? What's that? <sighs> Lame. It doesn't even make any sense. Do you know what the word taste means? <sighs> it seems to have been unpopular with the girls. Still, you should remember your team name just in case. You decide to return to your investigation. <laughs> This is where we decided on a team name, huh? If I remember right, it was Ultra Power Unit. It wasn't a hit with everyone, but I really liked it. Okay. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Ultra Power Unit. <laughs> huh? I think there's something ah, funny yes. going on with that wall. The spiky ahead. wall. Question room is next, but do I want to do... Hmm. There are three enemies. The oh, threat level goodness. is low. Leave it to me. Actually, what I'll am I doing? This. I need to heal Kanji. <laughs> Oh god, that's not enough. Here. 
You're gonna make a convalescence pun every day now. Convalescence! Ow. That's an FOE! Ow. Should probably be careful. And now he's. Damn! There's an FOE here! There are three enemies. And now he's the behind us. Hey, quit your squirming! What? We aren't gonna fight every FOE on the floor? I mean, we could, but I'd have to sort of try, I think, for these. Marco, watch out! Alright, Senpai, you're Ooh. awesome! We could try fighting it. Amazing! No wonder you're We've already there. fought one, but I think that's the one that you had to fight. Which was not this one. Sure. Let's see. Have I even attempted to fight this one before? We're more than a match for that thing. Yes. Oh. I have fought this one before. Power charge, which is brain shake. And. Sure. Pyramicanto. Izanagi no Okami! Bad I used Hailstorm. Oh, I'd only hit him once, too. Wanna go for an all out attack? You stay right there. Nice. That way, then she can get a free <laughs> power charge. So there's a chance that it might just die. Yeah. Now I remember why all out attacks were rare in this game. You couldn't knock down enemies. Like, not really. Not like in Q2. Let's see. It may just. Uh, yeah. He is going to kill it. Yeah, There's no right. way he does it. Marvelous. All right, let's keep Persona going. acquired. I did the whole thing properly to confuse and confound it. Only to murder it in cold blood, anyway. That wall smells fishy. Not in a good way. All 
right, time to do this one. Careful, there's an FOE here. Crazy. Yep, that's how it's laid out. Aha! That's how you do it. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, never mind. I went too far. He didn't have to go all the way across because now I can't maneuver around him. <laughs> It's a treasure box. Do you want to open it? Ooh, homunculus! Those aren't that common. Oh, a rare enemy. Oh shit. We have the first move. Now's our chance. We can't let it escape. Doesn't apply. Oh my god. He got all three of them. What the? Nice. Was it a good lasagna? He doesn't have the SP on that. But honestly, it's. There we go. Nice. Well, he's up. Let's see. What? Hey, that one's dead. What the? There are two enemies left. Well, I okay, successfully no, killed I do one. And that's all you could ask for, right? When you don't have agility bind. If we get super lucky, we'll kill them both. Nice. Good job, Kanji. What the? We won. Nice crit. We won, but we can't relax yet. Let's keep training. The supports are no longer the funny number. I already killed one of you, but I may as well do it again. You can defeat it. I think we can beat it. I have a horrible thought. funnier. We're very close to the level gap. She's got this. Come, Rockin' Mal! One enemy left. I'm low on energy, so let's get physical! Mouth. Yes! Heat Riser! I meant for him to use the Hailstorm. My bad. 
this seems fair. Break a rock and mouth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Worth. I might be running out of persona space. Hello, Dakarabia. All right, let's keep I want to call it the way that I used to call it, but I know it's Decarabia. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep up. I'm really bushed here. Ooh, a treasure chest! Come on, let's crack it open! It's like when I learned that in the... I learned that it was Hec Hecaton Kyrens. We have... 11 of 14. Okay. We've got space. <laughs> Dead on arrival. You sit there. We don't want you anywhere else. They may be weak, but there's five of them. Please be careful. Looks like an angel, but it's a bad guy, huh? This could be bad if I don't do this. Oh, oh. Anji? <laughs> Are you ready to rush them? <laughs> oh, if you do that, then they stop doing what you had planned. Okay. <laughs> Fair, I guess. Ooh, treasure! Ah! I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> nice crit. Leader has been turned to stone. He can't do anything. Uh, Amrita works, right? <laughs> Break the rotten mouth. Maybe you should take a break, GA. <laughs> oh my god, it does work, thank god. <laughs> that enemy is weak to win. We won! <laughs> How'd I do? She's growing up too! In one second. Oh, I'm so run down. Let's head back for a quick meatball, huh? Yeah, he's doing I think that was as well as he so can do. We should check it out. He's comfortable playing, but he doesn't seem interested in playing music. Oh, he's asleep right now. I can't hear him, but I can see his thing. Which is a sign that he is asleep. <laughs> Store that homunculus and sell everything else. Huh. Oh. Oh. Please. Oh. Cool. We almost have enough. Can we even make it? I don't think so. It would have to be someone's armor. Who <laughs> got new armor? Is that an array? Ooh, all the way down there. Right? I don't think I can make. Yeah. I didn't get Yoshitsune Tangled Threat. Yoshitsune's Shard, Tangled Threat, or the Giant Sword. Which, I wonder if you get those from killing FOEs in the final dungeon. Minamoto no Yoshitsune to strike family. Oh, no, wait. Maybe it's a sacrifice fusion material. Ew. I'll have to look it up when the time comes, but... Even though we're almost at 400k, I can't afford 
Or I can't actually make anyone's best weapon. I mean, I have some of the materials, but not, not that many. I only need at least one. If we... Okay. If we get the materials for the corpse rod, he is going to be in the final battle party for sure. He probably will regardless, but he's guaranteed if he gets this freaking weapon. <laughs> Because the war pick is already pretty good. I need a few more giant hilts. Get, yeah, no. But look at what it does! Ah! <laughs> Some of these are really good. Rod for Shinji makes no sense on any level. <laughs> no, not at all. So when I get to 400k, I'm obviously gonna wait until I have a little bit more. I may buy these. In fact, I can afford one right now. <laughs> I may buy these instead of stockpiling, so that way I can sell growth twos, and if I ever play this game a third time, I'll have some growth threes. Instead of just the one. <laughs> but I don't know yet. I may wait and just see how much money I can get I until I absolutely visit. have to buy stuff. Which is probably not going to happen until either halfway through the Spirit Club or Enema Pride exhibit. Oh my god, we never got one of these. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Do you have business with Marie? She's out on an errand right now. Please wait here until she new returns. New Game Plus persona -thon 2. Yeah, where I do all the games, but it's New Game Plus. Coming 2026. <laughs> I've sent her to check on Elizabeth and Theo. It's not an important task, but she seemed to be suffocating here. There's a piece of stationery on the floor. Oh, what's that? Including everything but the games that I couldn't actually physically finish because Citra said no. The credits. Q2. Could she have dropped it? It happens from time to time. <laughs> Pandora. Can't you see the tears of sorrow? Can't you hear and the eternal songs punishment. of sadness? I mean, Even yeah, there's... The world? I think it's that it is... It's called... It's technically Hearts New Game Plus, lies. because you maintain your levels, Hardened but not... Lies. You're satisfied But with not lies. alienate. I'll teach you Probably what because I'll open they won't Pandora's keep, they don't keep track of that because I mean, I even in a new game warrior. plus, if you went and chose Nate in, on your first round, and then in the second your you chose Ellie, obviously the level wouldn't carry over. Not the main story? Oh. Interesting. I mean, I'd be willing to play Eternal Punishment again, with the with the knowledge that I had acquired by the end game. <laughs> ah! This isn't what it looks like. It's just uh, my pathos was screaming out, and it's not like they're poems. It was just like an eight-hour thing. Oh yeah, the extra dungeon with Philemon as the boss. Yeah. I mean, why'd you read it? I think you Your have selfishness to. Selfishness is drowning the world. You do have to play the game again. It, it opens when you do a round with Ellie, and then when you do a round with Nate. <gasps> Actually, no. We had this conversation not that long ago, but I've already forgotten the specifics. Stupid, I hate you! Worst liar! Don't read people's private stuff! Marie is blushing. 
Why was it on the ground anyway? It doesn't make any sense. Marie returns to her seat, apparently unsettled. In any case, what would you like to do? I wanted to go into the compendium and register some personas. Well, that one's already done. Persona Fusion. Nice, that. Let's do, let me see here. We've already done Yatagarasu. Uh, we've already, we are, we're currently in possession of a, uh... Hmm, are we done? Anyway, probably. So the little guy that he is. Uh, sure. Sure. This is a just ruin him. Why not? He's probably going on a nav. Uh, a nav anyway. Right, and also we have Decarabia. Archangel's almost done. Oh yeah, we gotta experiment see you with again. sacrifice spreads too. Well. Okay, no requests. I'm not gonna ask to heal, because I think it'll be fine. But I am gonna save and take that break. At 101 hours. Wah. Break time starting now. But we're back. Oh yeah. It, I don't know, it's in the pressure cooker right now. But the other thing... Oh. Interesting. Funky. May leave before the final question. <laughs> change out who's going to be in the battle with me. <laughs> nope, that's not done yet. Ooh, navigating this one's kind of weird. Going on ahead. Yes, yeah, time to destroy the rest of this floor. There's not much left of it. But Get Chie open. does not have a lot of SP right now. The door up ahead is sealed. You have passed over hills and All right, guys. The second to last question. Prepare for emergency evacuation if necessary. Yes. A sigh of relief falls from your mouths. Well, I'm not sighing with relief, but it was a long journey, that's for sure. Though the questions go on, you are confident in your ability to handle them. <sighs> So there's more. We're definitely pretty far in, though, so let's be extra careful. I wouldn't be surprised if we ran into that guardian soon. Now then, here is question number nine. If you had to eat one or the other, which would it be? Eat. <laughs> 
wasabi. Sugar. <laughs> A whole plate of it, mind you. Go. <laughs> so death or death? <laughs> we'll see. This is a weird one. I'm genuinely unsure what eating a plate of sugar, like who would be like, yeah, sure. But this is also the Persona 4, <laughs> the Persona 4 protagonist we're talking about. <laughs> Which one would he rather eat? I don't know if Ken would eat a, would be like, yeah, hell yeah, give me that plate of sugar. <laughs> He certainly wouldn't be give me that plate of wasabi. Yes, just Ken triggers KBB now. As if the others weren't up already. know the answer. I don't really need to wait for this vote to end, now do I? I just get the feeling. <laughs> but yeah, it's Operation Oh God Ken showed up too many times. <laughs> Time to choose questions that he definitely wouldn't pick. <laughs> okay, Wasabi. Let's go for it. Are you absolutely sure? Watch this get Akihiko. Oh. Yikes, what a question. Then again, hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I can easily go for both. Huh? It's not that kind of question, Risei chan. <laughs> Only Risei. <laughs> Junpei showed up. He's shown up for a question before. It opened! But I don't know if that means anything. Wall smells fishy and not in a good way. They may be weak, but there's five of them. Please be careful. Oh, one of those rubbish. <laughs> the wedding shit. I mean, oh, can't you know? Somebody with that Marita. You weren't June paying attention and didn't notice how many times he showed up. He showed up for the ramen topping being pickled red ginger. Asshole. <laughs> Been turned to stone. He can't do anything. Yeah, it's a good thing. But somebody here has Amrita. Go! <laughs> Why does she have to have lightsabers? I don't know. They just do.
We're almost done. This way. All right. Damn. There's an FOE here. Fine. Let's make sure to defeat it quickly. You can call yourself king Eat. once you beat their bean katanas. <laughs> you do get <laughs> that's a bad. That's negative. That's that. There's no guarantee. Okay, let's keep this up. We Why already have our emergency too? back button to redo the last three questions in the save state. Let's head back for a quick meatball, huh? I'm gonna get hit. Hey, aren't you being sucked towards the FOE? Yeah, FOE. just means that we'll You'll fight it. it. We're more than a match, but that thing. Oh. Perfect. Unfortunately, I think everything that I've set up on uh, Kanji is wearing off this turn. Quite a bit. You're unstoppable. Last time we played. Oh, I'm well, now so that that's run down. Dead. <laughs> Let's head back for a quick meatball, huh? No fancy maneuvering needed to hear. Here I come. Will this power spot help me be more popular with the ladies? Lounging elegantly. Don't worry about I it. Leave that enemy oh. this week to fire. Hey. Ooh, that's not good. We won. <laughs> no, it won't, <laughs> Teddy. How'd I do? Looks like mine got stronger. Hey, okay, Archangel's done. Here. Uh... Cool. And of course, 
search this thing. And activate that first. I just realized I made a mistake. I should have gone through that. And then... Hello, Nazuchi. <laughs> How'd I do? All right. Oh, I'm so run down. Come on over here. That's an FOE. We should probably be careful. So much. That enemy's weakness is ice. Okay, call me if you want a rematch. We're doing great. Let's keep it up. I don't know if I can keep. Let's go. It's okay, Chie. You got this. There's something there strange go. about that wall there. I'm going to leave the labyrinth. God of Romance. No. This one. Lightning! So, we want to build a party around that. I mean, we already have two people. What if we also brought up you? Would that be overkill? <laughs> Well, with him at the level that he's at... Yes. <laughs> hmm. I may need... I, I may actually need, like, real healing, though, so I'm gonna wait. Sorry.
need to look at equipment and pursuit aid. I literally just healed. God, I keep forgetting. Don't do that. Give him other skills. I was just like, yeah, this will work. <laughs> All right. Shop. Huh. Just be sure. I have the king call. Okay, yeah, he has the series. Right? Yes. Yes. Kari doesn't have it, and Ken doesn't have it, but I can't afford them anyway. They're not, they're not cheap. Apparently, afford I guess it is. Okay, so yeah, maybe they'll be the next one too. using I guess for this fight though so not gonna even oh does she not have one why not <laughs> I can only imagine I want to this time around there we go that's better oh yeah no she doesn't <laughs> Everyone has one. We could use them. But we're not going to. <laughs> okay, this should be fine. Of course, this all amounts to absolutely nothing if we get Ken, because I'm going to be loading a save state, which puts me back a bit farther. a bit farther. <laughs> Alright. Not Ken. Yeah, we don't want Ken. Hmm? Oh, we're here. It's that question room. Hey, you're right. Huh. We've been through a lot of these. Maybe this really is the last one. Okay. Hold on, please! I get the feeling it's either Akihiko, Junpei, possibly Ken. Shinjiro showed up once, but I don't really know if that means anything, because it was painfully obvious which- that- that question. Whereas the other is, I'm like, I have zero clue. Up ahead! I mean, just a little further on! I'm sensing something very bad there! But I don't see another way through besides this one. Mm. Oh, I see. Well, if you have to go through, please be careful. There might be a guardian inside. Oh, uh, guardian. Hmm. There's no knowing what might await us, so let's prepare ourselves before going in. It's It can't possibly be Risei, unfortunately, because they get locked. Well, I mean, maybe not unfortunately. There's a reason why we did this twice, and why the title of the stream is Round 3. Because <laughs> I did it twice on side three. After overcoming countless hardships, you have at last reached the final room.
you await the final question with sweaty palms. But before that, there is something that must be done. Yes, it's time to review your choices thus far. It doesn't matter. Well, you like boldness. You like red pickled ginger. Like smiles. Oh yeah, what? It removed the artist thing. Somebody eat with squishy dog. Squishy pop ads. Roller coasters. We would rather eat a plate of wasabi. And so, laugh or cry. Here comes the last question. You can answer it if you wish or elect to not answer it. Which kind of prize would ah, you yes. want to win? The one that's the I think is the same every time. No. I believe in you. Who is the Persona 4 protagonist's destined boy partner? More prizes means more times you have to go <laughs> to the post office. Free omnipotence or yes. Alright. If only that was the big prize. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I say that, but there aren't even any votes for the second option. <laughs> There will be a round four. And then we get to see who Persona 4 protagonist's girl destined partner is. But one gigantic one. Are you absolutely sure? I know, right? It's totally gotta be that. Knew it had to be that one. You have summoned your will and selected an answer. This concludes the questioning. There are no correct answers, only the path you have chosen. Well then, the time has come to announce your destined partner. Finally, huh? I'm looking forward to this. Someone sure is acting carefree since this doesn't involve them. Quiet. Don't let your guard down. All right. Oh, please. Not Ken. Carbo! Wake up the dog! <laughs> Where is this place? Koromaru seems to have fallen on his rear end is in pain. It seems it's only you and Koromaru here. It seems you have reached your destination. I'm not gonna lie, I would have laughed so fucking hard if it was Shinji again. 
but it's not Ken, so I'm happy. <laughs> this seems to be a path where lovers who met their destined It's still weird because Koromaru is a dog, but we did get the good boy, the goodest what of boys. What could be waiting up ahead? You are free to step forth hand, hand in, in hand. Paw. <laughs> Curiosity and fear in your hearts, or you can refrain. <laughs> you are free to step forth or refrain from doing so. These are your apparent options. <laughs> He's like, lovers. Lovers? Lovers? No matter where you look, you can only see Koromaru. Now, step forth. The mechanic... <laughs> <coughs> the mechanical voice has fallen silent. Ormaru is politely waiting for you. It seems you have no choice but to go. Let's go for a walk. Why not? Ormaru seems happy. You decide to take Ormaru and proceed forward. Oh god, this Photoshop. Who's carrying who? Suddenly, all in attendance hear an announcement. I think I know what the answer is. Formaru seems to be surprised. S scratching his back with embarrassment. Up ahead, they see a bride and groom's joyous commemorative photograph of love. They confer between them whether to look at it or ignore it. Oh my god! <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> what could this be? <laughs> the thought of it being a wedding with Koromaru crosses your mind. <laughs> of course, there's no doubt that this photo is manipulated, but... No, it wasn't. Koromaru seems to be in a good mood for some reason. You're so manly, Koromaru. <laughs> it's hard to tell whether Koromaru understands or not, but he seems happy. <laughs> At Koromaru's urging, you decide to move forward. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this seems to be a church. The long-awaited moment has come. The best come. outcome, the yes. The bride and groom are finally about to enter. Like, seriously, I don't know. I, I, I knew Popads would get Goromaru, but it would also get Shinji. But the food question where we could have gotten Shinji, we got Junpei, because, and then Junpei showed up for the roller coasters one, so I was really, really unsure of who was going to win. It's not like when we did it, uh... It's not really last year, but... <laughs> Jumpy. Um, it wasn't like last time we did the boy... Uh, Destined Partner, where as soon as I saw the question about the movies and you guys voted that it was, like, animal movies, I was like, okay, we've basically locked... Shinjiro in. There's no- unless it's another oddly specific question for a specific character, there's no way it's not him or Kanji. <laughs> so, I was kind of, like, really worried we were gonna get Ken. <laughs> the last moment of hesitation has arrived before you are to be wed. Like, I don't- I wouldn't want to genuinely marry Koromaru for a number of reasons. <laughs> But it's easier to just go, yeah, this is just a joke. I love my dog. <laughs> Child can go sit in the corner and think about his life. Exactly. It seems that opening this door means that you'll be marrying Koromaru. You must choose carefully here. Through your own free will, you decide to vow eternal love to each other. It's apparently been decided that you're going to say your vows. 
Now, open the door together. Yeah. Well, we have no choice. You open the church door. <laughs> Poor Mario seems happy. He must think of this as just going on a walk. <laughs> Boss is cool. He's weird looking, but he's cool. That must be the guardian of this labyrinth. He talks weird. He talks weird. That's all Ken has to say about that. I. Okay. You're probably going to death counter. You're going to dragon cry. until the decree ends. Okay, good. <gasps> the bow's effects are gone! Anything goes now, right? I 
am level seven. Every battle makes us stronger. Mm -hmm. I did it! My persona's stronger now. Still, that was very fast. Oh, just as we thought. A chest. I will open it. Then, No! Hi, Kormaru. Hi, Shinji. <laughs> Don't touch that! <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry, Zen. It's all right. I'm as confused as you are. Zen picks up what he pulled out of the box. It appears to be a ring. Is that a toy ring? Like the ones they sell at fairs? I had one back in the day. It made me feel like a princess, and that was my royal heirloom. So Zen, is anything coming back for you yet? Yes. I was searching for something in this world. It was because Ray cried, but I couldn't find it. Ray, I think this ring is yours. I don't know. Then why did you tell me not to touch it? I don't know. I just thought that you shouldn't. That stuffed rabbit we found in the previous labyrinth, that was also Ray's. Ray, it's not a rainbow. Why are her things in the depths of the labyrinths? Zen, I hate you, Zen. Hate? Me? It's... it's all your fault! I... I don't care about you anymore! Ray, don't cry. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Are we kind of... intruding here? Just a little. This cruelty is trying on us single people. I do have a space open right here, you know. Teddy? It'll be open forever. Everyone, when you get back, please come to the Velvet Room. Hmm. Another lock is about to come off. Another victim of Automod. It is. Then our hypothesis was correct. There's a photo here. The facial features have been cut out. Hmm. Yes, I adjusted some things. I think we could break through that wall up ahead. Not break Let's through give it a the try. Wall. That's not what that's not what we're doing. All right. Your theory? All right. Well, I mean, this is a new game plus save file. So, so hello. Uh, as soon as that bell uh, rang earlier, uh, the lock started rattling. Hmm. There seems to indeed be a correlation between the labyrinths and the locks. If we defeat the remaining two guardians and take what they are protecting, these doors will open. I can't wait for Naoto to tell us how the solution to a bunch of puzzles in a labyrinth. <laughs> It's clear that these doors are connected to the real world from which you all hail. We looked into them, and we don't sense the presence of shadows beyond these doors. From one of the doors, I detect the familiar air of the world I know well. And from the other, Elizabeth and Theo say they feel something similar. Not if I finish for- <laughs> Two left. That means we're halfway through. We might get through this sooner than we expected. Only halfway? Huh. I wouldn't have figured you to be so spineless. Well, at least there seems wow, to be no reason to rush damn. this. Wow, Akihiko, damn! We'll be fine if we stay properly prepared. 
Fukuchan and I scouted out the next labyrinth. Rude. The display's called the Evil Spirit Club, but it's being held in the second year class four homeroom. Second year class four? I thought each year at Yasugami High only went up to class three. Yeah, it's weird. A speed run to beat Naoto's puzzle spoilers. Yes. Evil Spirit Club? Oh, that name's already a huge red flag for me. What, you're scared? What happened to those kung fu skills? What? I can't believe you're making fun of me. Fine, I'll smash those ghosts with my kicks. <laughs> he wasn't. Well, maybe he was. Does that work? Yes. Well then, everyone. You put salt in your shoes. On your way. You did not like the next dungeon. Ah, I, it was kind of honestly my favorite. <laughs> Oh, okay, thank goodness. We can go in order. Nice. However, I want to muster a team. I want to make a squad. Call it the low-level squad. So you need EXP squad. We have no fears. That's understandable. I thought it was kind of cool because it was actually pretty creepy. That's kind of why I, th I thought it was cool. Because it's one thing for it to be like, oh, it's a haunted house, but it's like not that bad. I liked the music. And I liked the puzzles. Huh. Welcome. Oh, wow. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> done. Yes, we were. I just want to have the people that I plan to level grind in the party already. Because we're going to run into stuff. We just are. Of course we have some requests. Well, I think I know who that is. I 
hanging out with Marie, Thank right? We're waiting. All right. I'm bored. Take me somewhere. The end. Hmm. That explanation was impressively minimalistic. No wonder you're. Nope. I don't need that kind of thing right now. Anyway, I'm bored. Come ask me out. Seriously, I'm gonna die if you don't. Don't waste a wave. You don't hurry it up. Bye. <laughs> okay. She seems quite irritated. I thought about coming along, but perhaps not. It might be troublesome. Well then, good luck on babysitting her. <laughs> men defeating the angel of love, FOE. This quest is... White floral hairpin. Stop two and stop four. Cool. Let's do the Marie one, and then we'll go inside the, uh, the group date cafe and do the questionnaire again. Are you here for the request? Can we leave now? Cool, let's go. Marie, where are you going? Where? I don't care where. As long as it's not here. I see. Try not to cause my guests too much trouble. I know, I know. Jeez. Hopefully some wonderful pathos will come gushing out. Uh, let's go, come on. The Marie quest. Indeed. There's too many people here. Wouldn't half this number be better? Go thin them out, right now. Ow. <laughs> How should I know? Why don't you think of a way? Ugh, what's that? Churros? My heart will burn sweetly. Its name is Churros. Ugh. It's not my inner scream at all. Jeez. This is all your fault. Hmm. Ah, hello there. Are you two out shopping? Theo, buy me a churro. Dear me. We just met and you're already begging for something. What a wicked lady you are. <sighs> Not in the mood for this right now. Hurry up and buy one, Theodore. Churros are pretty good. Theodore? Hey, the apron makes you look like a dork. Just saying. What a thing to say. I am making myself useful by creating items and equipment. You might say that this apron is my identity. Not to mention, don't you think it looks good on me? I'm bored. Let's go to that food court place. Uh, hey! Uh, please wait! Poor Theo. Food court. The desk, the chairs, the lined up shops. I wonder how many times bigger this place is than the Velvet Room. Why'd you come here? We just happened to be going in the same direction. That's all. Huh. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, hey, this is a rare sight. What's up? Oh! Just going out. Theo followed us along the way. Wait, does that mean you two are going out by yourselves? What's the deal here, senpai? There was a request. I hate the way you say that. Yeah, I made a request, but not to you. I don't need anyone else, after all. Oh, so that's how it is. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Are things serious between them? Serious like how? I was a fool to ask you that. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? I was a fool to ask you that. To commemorate our meeting in this food court earlier, we are about to enjoy tea time. Yay! They say that tea time is a forum for exchanging views, ranging from trivial complaints to one's love life. Hell yeah, you got it in one, I guess. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> 
I will give my all in participating in this tea time. <laughs> it's nothing that formal. Ah, so it's a soft form of tea. You must mean matcha, the powder type of green tea. Yep, you got it exactly. She's gonna go on forever if we don't stop it now. Huh, so you're gonna have tea? You wanna join us? Mm -hmm. What? I didn't see that. True, it would be impolite for us to barge in. Like I said, it's nowhere near that formal. Let's have some fun together. Okay, I guess. But there's no tea here. Oh, we have a genius here. We were actually thinking about going to get some just now. Allow me to purchase it. I cannot participate in this once in a tea time event without any foodstuffs. You'll blow it, Theo. Blow it? You go do it. Consider this part of the request. Oh, God. Little. You're making our senpai do it? Fine. I'll go and. You try. Step aside. You're denied. Yeah. You tried. Step aside. You're denied. Marie looks proud of herself. You cave into this awkward situation and decide to go buy the snacks yourself. Oh, me, me. I'll come along too. You tried. Step aside. You're denied. She's really liking that one. Your senpai is going with me. That's what the request is about. Come on, let's go. Ugh, senpai, you better come back, okay? It's been decided that you and Marie will go get the snacks. But is Marie going to bother trying to memorize what the others want? It might be best if you were to remember what everyone asks for. All right, order up. Oh, yeah, when it's side three, Marie doesn't go with you. All right. Sorry, senpai. French fries for me. I will go second. I would like an iced Uji. Stop. Go in order. Again, from the top. Right. I want some french fries, please. Oh, me too! That place serves big portions, so let's just get one to split. What kind of sauce you like? Barbecue? Ketchup? They had mustard and mayo, too. Uh, anything's fine. Mmm, so many choices. Give me some time. All right, next. I want a cinnamon caramel latte. I'm counting on you, senpai. All right, next. I will go third. I request an iced Uji matcha latte. On the soft side, please. All right, next. Oh, actually, I'm starting to crave the cinnamon apple tea. Sorry, can I change mine to that? All right, next. All right, I've made my decision. Get me some barbecue sauce on the fries. All right, next. Please allow me to order some ice cream. I'd like durian, pomegranate, and peach in that order from the top. All right, next. Durian, pomegranate, and peach? Oh, hold up! I could really go for some mayo as the sauce. Uh, so sorry. I'd like to change the top one to mango and exchange the peach for plum. So, mango... Oh my god. I'm actually gonna have to write this down. <laughs> Ugh. They couldn't make this easy. Fries. Fires. <laughs> Fries. Mayo. Apple. Cinnamon. Tea? Yeah, or cinnamon apple tea. But it's fine. Tea, iced, G, matcha, latte. Ma mango, mango pomegranate peach. Wait, no, mango pomegranate plum. the center two was... And time's up. You never mentioned a time limit. 
You didn't ask. Senpai, you think she got all that? To be honest, I'm worried. Well, let's go. It's your job to remember. It's my job to feel. I'll give you hints, so you go by them. If you don't make any mistakes, I'll make your request reward something nice. I just decided that. Hmm? Okay, first question. Drum roll, please. Take back your torn wings. To great distances, to new heights. Fly. To the French. That's it? I made it that obvious and you still didn't get it? I meant French fries. Are you sure you're okay? I think you said something about a sauce, too. What was it? Mayo. Yeah, something like that. Well, good luck getting it. Second question. Cinnamon and honey are dear friends. Caramel is a bit spoiled. Apple is a bit <laughs> short-tempered. I'll admit, on side four, Marie makes this request harder. <laughs> What's this? Is that a riddle? That wasn't a riddle. It was your hint. Rise and Igis asked us to get drinks. Is this jogging your memory? Um, what did Rise want? Cinnamon apple tea. Yeah, that's it. Something like that. What about Igis? Iced Uji Mata Matcha Latte. Matcha float. That was probably it. Okay, time for you to go buy them. <sighs> I'm bored of giving hints. Actually, I'm bored of buying stuff. The last one's Theo, anyway. Can't we just get him water? We can't do that. <laughs> huh, you're pretty dedicated. That's mean. But you're a nice guy, too. That's well established. All right, let's hurry up and buy the ice cream. Then let's get back. <laughs> I'd be like, here's some cinnamon toast crunch, exactly what you ordered. You wanted mango. Pomegranate. Blum. It's all the same to Theo. Come on, let's go. You can't hold it all? Here, give me half. <laughs> you should be thankful. That was my Margaret impression. Did it sound like her? Okay, let's head back. Okay. Return to the food court. Welcome back. Thanks. <laughs> you have quite the nerve to trouble me, no? When he sits down the food you brought, and explains the situation to the others. If any of them are wrong, blame your leader. Just what I asked for. Impressive as always, senpai. Home run on the sauce, too. I'm surprised you remembered it right. Nice. Let's see the drinks, sir. Oh, here they are. Right on. Both are absolutely correct. What about you, Theo? Yes, this is absolutely correct. What a beautiful triple stack. Thank you very much. Nice. That concludes the shopping. Senpai, did anything happen? Did she try and clutch your arm or anything? I didn't do anything like that. All we did was chat the whole time. The whole time? Well then, it's time for us to begin the long-awaited tea time. Calm down, Rise. And going through a labyrinth sure is tiring. <laughs> it is unlike the type of exhaustion felt during our excursions into Tartarus. 
like I'm gonna die of boredom when you guys aren't around. Die? We must devise a solution for her spare time at once. That's not necessary. This solution you're talking about? I have one already. Like, there's these images and stray fragments of words that pop into my head. I write them down. I guess it's called inspiration? I gather stuff like that. You don't talk the whole time unless you're dead. Inspiration? What is the trigger for this phenomenon? Everyone has stuff they want to raise their voices and say, but they can't. Cries from the depths of their hearts. The heart that sprouted within you. Don't ever pluck it away. Don't you think so too? <laughs> she is. Raise their voices. I understand. From now on, I will hide nothing and keep my volume at max. Max, stop it! <laughs> but I don't think that inspiration can strike at this volume. No, I believe you already have an interesting way of thinking. Yeah, I don't think you need to push yourself too hard. I'm me, and you're you, I guess. What's important is origin... What's important is originality. That you're the only you that exists. I was just about to say that. What? How should I know what you were about to say? Words don't belong to anyone. But you ripped off what I was going to say because it sounded nice. Whether or not she knew and wanted to steal it, you did rudely interrupt her. What do you mean, rip off? It popped into my head, so I said it. No, you totally ripped me off. And it's not fair that you got to go on a date with Senpai. Not fair. So go on one yourself. You're not making any sense. I mean, now's not the time for such. It's just not fair. Um, I'm put in a request too. Labrys, his existence hasn't been confirmed yet for anyone, and neither has Metis. <laughs> Good luck getting Elizabeth to take it. Hmm. Uh. I don't like where this is going. Labrys is canon. Everything but three and five dancing are canon, according to Atlas. Please leave this to me. Being useful to you all is what being a resident of the Velvet Room is about. But it's a resident who's causing all the trouble. Wow. It'll you be just fine. right. Have no fear. Ladies, I believe that's enough quarreling. You'll ruin your stunning complexions. Why would Dancing All Night be canon but not in Starlight or uh, in Moonlight? Uh, because it's a dream. And there's not a specified time. Like, for example... The Persona 3 group talk as if it's right before the final battle, but the Persona 5 group talk as if it's after the events of the game. Which is weird. And, well, they've re they've gone back on things before. When Q first came out, they said that it wasn't canon, but then they were like, no, it is. Sorry. But, um, everything, I think, ex unless they explicitly say isn't canon, it is like, is, and their fancy way of hiding it is, like, for Arena and Arena Ultimax, they're considered canon, but Arena came out before Golden, so Marie didn't exist. So when Ultimax started, the very first thing they did was cover their bases and said, oh, Marie was, like, out of town doing Weather Girl stuff. She wasn't necessary for the, for, to be, like, informed of the previous game's events. We should probably tell her, though, because it would be kind of scummy not to. <laughs> and they literally had a moment like that right at the start. So, Strikers could still be canon. They haven't explicitly said that it's not. A lot of people are like, it's basically a sequel. But even though it doesn't have royal characters or confirmation of the existence or death of a specific one, they could easily make a Strikers 2 later and just go, Oh yeah, Su Sumire was at like a meet and couldn't go on the road trip. Because <laughs> they do that. 
They rate their spin-offs in a way where if they change things later down the road with extra characters, <laughs> they just, if there's another spin-off of an opportunity to like explain themselves as to why there's an absence of a specific character, they will do it. They have done it before. <laughs> Meteorologist. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just the way Atlas rolls. If I were to compare you two, you're like a single rose blossoming in the wasteland. Like that single rose, you're both fleeting and dignified as you. That would make us two roses. What's dignified or fleeting about that? Huh? Oh, um... Also, I give that zero points as verse. Especially since you used the word wasteland instead of more. That sounds like a pun Ikutsuki would make. <laughs> Do it over. <laughs> Poor Theo. Oh, um... Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> How beautiful you both are. Such priceless beauty, Theodore. He made a haiku. That was a haiku. How was it? I believe I succeeded in capturing both of your beauties. Eight points out of ten. That high? Thank you. <laughs> Why don't we all recite it together? A one and a two. Oh, how beautiful. Hmm? Why is everyone remaining silent? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I got a bit worked up. It's weird that you're apologizing. You didn't do anything wrong. But I'm sorry, too. That was crabby because I wasn't getting any inspiration. <laughs> I see. If you need someone to talk to, I'm always willing to lend an ear. Unless it's about senpai. Oh, except she about love traps. She a switchblade out of her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Free Saint Marie smile at each other. I guess this tea time thing isn't all that bad. Hmm. Tea time. Tea. I guess it's been settled. Man, that was tense for no reason. Love triangles are fantasy stuff. It's got nothing to do with us. I think well, on the Persona 3 protag side, it was something where we had to point out that Kanji and Theo looked like they, they could be brothers. And for a brief instance, they tried imitating the way the other one talks. And it was interesting. <laughs> Love triangle? Between who? Fantasy. Tea time. See? I'm getting a premonition that this is going to be a beautiful pathos. It seems that Marie has had an inspiration for a poem. It seems that Theo and Marie both enjoyed the tea time as well as the culture festival. I will report to the nurse's office. We'll do those strolls in a bit. Marie, please wait a moment. Thank you for waiting. You're a conscientious one. Here, take this. It's for helping me out. Nice. And this is a special reward for the shopping we did. You worked hard, so it's all yours. Ooh, I had fun. I want to go again, but I won't ask you. You're busy and all. I'll be in the velvet room. So stop by when you're not in the labyrinths. I'll get bored if I can't see your face. She'll find a way. See ya. Huh. 
All right. It's time. To do the questionnaire again. Welcome, stray lambs. This is the second year class two's display. What? Yeah. Hello to everyone. Both those I'm meeting for the first time and those I'm not meeting for the first time. This display uses state-of-the-art technology to find your destined partner with a few simple questions. You can participate if you wish, or you might choose not to. I'm good. There was a fly. Or no a way. A small flying insect. I got too close to my face. I want to do it again. <laughs> Hey, what? Now see here, we don't have the time to waste- Yeah, but this is a group date cafe! Our leader's <laughs> orders are absolute! Or something like that. Huh? O orders? Ugh, oh, that's the case. Very well. Must have some reason. You do, don't you? Mitsuru's <laughs> gaze pierces you. Still, it seems possible to find out who your destined partner is again up ahead. You go back to the first question room again. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I want to do that one over. It seems you have found this out. Huh? Oh, it's that voice again. You have stepped into the forbidden Reselection room. room. Of Answer some simple questions, however you like, and you'll discover your new destined partner. Well then, let's get right to question number one. Does a are you absolutely sure? Huh. Hmm. Wait, a new destined partner? How does that work? And then Zebby just goes like, you know, if you wanted to like, if you had to pick between one gender or the other, want to make sure that your questions gave you the best possible option, right? Looks over at Shinjiro. Last time we did Fuka and Naoto? No, last time we got Shinjiro and Fuka. We couldn't possibly get Naoto because Naoto is part of the girl pool. <laughs> oh! Hey, what was that chuckle for? <laughs> so, the guy destined partner is Kormaru. But now we can see. Going on ahead. What the girl destined partner for Persona 4 protagonist specifically is. So far, every single character we've chosen <laughs> has been from Persona 3. <laughs> After much anguish, your new and infant who will you and so. What's your idea of a good time together? Oh, this thing happened again. I vote Yukari because it's funny. <laughs> Alright, new poll. Hanging out. Outside. Inside. Go! <laughs> I love the fact that we got Koromaru, though. That was so funny. <laughs> we got Shinjiro and Fuka. I 
it doesn't matter too much if we get the same people, but it, there's such a pool that unless somebody is like, oh, I'm here to sabotage. <laughs> and they know, and they have an idea as to a question that would get the same person. But these questions are random. No, like, there are ten questions, but other than the first question and the final question, uh, questions two through nine are randomly picked from actually a pretty large, pretty decent-sized pool, not a huge one. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Someone is causing havoc. <laughs> Forcing people to use more points. Okay. Inside. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> Me too. Mm. I don't really do sports or things either. Ooh, how reserved you two are! <sighs> Teddy, you're taking too much of a shotgun approach lately. In fact, we could technically do it as many times as we wanted. I just, for the sake of, like, showing off the guy destined partner and the girl destined partner, wanted to do it at least twice. You shouldn't have a and have Ooh, chat be mostly in control. I hope she notices me. Good. That's the last of them. So. <laughs> Fuka, Shinji, and Gormar. Yeah, that was a breeze. We will see who the fourth destined partner shall be. Based on the way you traverse through this place. Uh Yukari really isn't that bad if you know the answer. This is true. Over here! Uh a little while ago. We're level grinding. It happened again. Where the poll wouldn't let me make a new one, it would just tell me to either force end or make a new one, and it would just say no. Interesting one. I've never seen this question. One who's actually an older man. <laughs> I get the feeling if the first question was sex doesn't matter, that would that would be I think this is a velvet room attendant question. <laughs> the last one would be Naoto. I think because the Velvet Room attendants are all older than the protagonists, I think this is a 
I think this is a Velvet Room Attendant question. Because you can get them. It's just really freaking hard because they're very specific questions. And then you have to have a pretty shotgun approached thing. Like, it's kind of hard to get them. You have to get lucky with the questions. Like, is actually a man would probably be Theo. Good at looking after others is probably Margaret. Lame jokes is possibly Elizabeth. But I don't know for sure. This is just like an odd question to begin with. <laughs> Especially considering that no matter which side you're on, Naoto is not older than you. Being a first year. You think lame jokes is Margaret? That might also be Margaret. <laughs> yes, you're right. But please don't make me tie break this, chat. The extra points are there so it doesn't get tie bro. Doesn't have to be a tiebreaker. God damn it! This is for chat, not you. Not me. Someone did that on purpose. I think somebody did that on purpose. When they meet up in Arena now, it's almost old. <laughs> They're eldritch beings. <laughs> okay. Well, I could do it again, minus the third one, but we will have lingered here for a little bit longer. We're already getting a girl. So if we choose this one, honestly, who would this go to? You didn't want option two to win. <laughs> All right. I have a different idea. No, that would, cause that's, well, I mean, that would be totally random, but. I have turned off additional voting for this one. This one also should have only been a minute, not two, my bad. There's no additional voting. Cause I, cause we need to get through these quickly. And if I turn it on, you guys are gonna do it so that way it tries to be a tie again. <laughs> Honestly, who would be option two? Yeah, I really shouldn't have had this be two minutes. Margaret seems option two way more than Liz. Yeah. I mean, if this is a Velvet Room attendant question, what the fuck actually happens if you choose three and you've said that the sex matters? Like, what would that do? Also, someone rescinded their caretaker vote to keep this a tie. And whoever... What, whoever did that. I have some words. <laughs> I 
I have to pick. Could dice roll. Are you no. absolutely sure? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize I was clicked on to Citra. Or we go with lame joke. Yeah, the tiebreaker is that I choose neither. <laughs> <laughs> and it discourages you guys from ever doing this again. <laughs> All right. Caretaker is evens. Man. Secret is actually an older man is odd. So let's go. I'm going to roll this thing like a bowling ball. Landed on six. Nat 20 would be jokes. <laughs> that would be, but it landed on six. And I said caretaker was evens, yes. Alright. Are you absolutely sure? Huh? Do you like to fawn over older girls? be a problem if you behaved this way on the battlefield. Woo! What a fascinatingly harsh shutdown! <laughs> there was a lot of deliberation that went into that. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything, honestly. There are three enemies. The threat level it is might low. not have influenced You're anyone if I didn't down. think a, a velvet room attendant was gonna appear with that question. <laughs> Joining. New poll. Club. Well, we know which one gets Fuka. I think both the first and the third one tend to. They're both things that she likes. Make sure I turn additional votes back on. Ah! Oh, I can't do a minute and a half, so I'll just still give you two minutes. Well, I eat chocolate. Group A? What does that mean? <laughs> no tech, we already got Fuka. But if we get Fuka again, <laughs> it's not the end of the world, is it? I would like to see someone else just for the sake of seeing someone else. why chat is deciding it. Oh. Ah. I see. Well, that kind of spoils it.
All right, we're doing technology. Are you absolutely sure? <laughs> nice. Let's try. Here. Down we go. Which one is the first question room? Right? Is it from this side? I'm trying to remember. I think so. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Look at me as just a girl, and you won't live to regret it. Yeah, that's right. Scram! Yeah! That was a breeze! Someone you Ooh. don't care for confesses their love. Mm. Ah, we've gotten this one before. Yeah, but I don't want to be told who I'm going to get before I get them. Questions. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. Zoners out there, there's a special place. <laughs> I guess reject would be Chie. It could also be Yukiko. Think about it. <laughs> Mitsuru for a second. Mitsuru probably also would flat out reject. I don't know about Yukari though. Yukiko doesn't realize that there ever is a crush. <laughs> Friend zone looks to be the winner right now, but we've still got a few. Still got some time. You think Yukari would be hesitantly turn them down? I guess unless it was like a somebody that she knew, like if it was Junpei or Teddy, she would just be like, absolutely fucking not. But for <laughs> anyone else, she'd be like, eh. Are you absolutely sure? Hmm. That sounds nice, but isn't that still turning them down in a way? Who knows? You might actually get interested in them later. Hmm. Seems awfully indirect. It's much better to just go for broke. No, man. Yeah, but you'd never get anywhere with that if you didn't have a teen idol smile like yours. Okay. 
Question number six. We're close to an FOE. Here I come. Many people are connected to you in life. You can call that destiny or not. Well then, let Which would you rather be inside? Oh, we've seen this one. only two options. I'll give you just a minute for this. These are both awful. Depends on the type of shark. A shark, honestly speaking, is less likely to attack you flat out than a lion would. I'm fairly certain. Like, sharks can be aggressive, but there's a reason why there are, like, actual tours where you can dive with sharks and not savannah tours where they let you get out of the jeep around the lions. <laughs> but they're not great, especially if you're afraid of one or both. But the lion is my main man. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? Shark Tank. <laughs> the Aki Ego. That doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have to fight the sh the lion. Or the sharks. Whatever. Uh, what's exciting about getting eaten? Nothing. Akihiko's just insane. <laughs> An FOE! Watch out! If a glass shoe is like a metal shoe, it is because we are ready for question number seven. You've upset your beloved. How will you make it up to them? is fine. <laughs> All right, we'll give you two minutes for this. You had to pause and reflect on that one. There will be no throwing of other chat members off of buildings in here. Actually, fun fact about lions, the presence of a mane, while it is most commonly attributed to male lions, it's like most dimorphism, it's really just a certain collection of genes that will either be triggered or not triggered on a cellular level. There are actual uh, documented instances of lionesses with manes and male lions without. It's not super common, but it is an actual phenomenon. Why is it a three-way tie, chat? Chat? <laughs> Why not? Because this is supposed to be chat making the decisions. <laughs>
Okay, good. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Apologize profusely. Absolutely sure. What? Does this mean apologizing to the point of blowing out their eardrums? Huh? Wouldn't that defeat the purpose? Joster John liked that? Here I come! Who knows? Anything is possible. Ah! There are three enemies. Kill him! You're going down! That's our leader. Time for some murder death kill. Great job, leader. Yes. Take a rest. Okay. Uh Has come. The time has come. Question number eight. If you had to eat one or oh, the other, oh, this is the same one. But we'll do it again. Plate of what? Go. Oh. Send Sorrow or Die from ER and Q1, we would give that to Naoto. I don't know if they give the. If, if the. I think Alice is in this, but I don't know if Die for Me is a skill card. I would 100% give it to Naoto, though. You are correct. <laughs> Gotta love my Zukar. Yes. Definitely special. But yeah, Daisojo is less likely of the two to have. Really depends. made this one only one minute too. <laughs> these two question, these two answer ones should just be a minute, not two. Alright. Are you absolutely sure? Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow is right, Fuka. help but let sighs fall from your mouths i'm not sure just a little more and you will discover your destined partner well then here comes question number nine to fire up your resolve your specialty dish is hey. Uh, 
and because for some reason there we go I mean, I'm always down for steak. No one wants to do pickled mackerel. Even if that's for Ray. Even if that's a Ray question. <laughs> what they don't realize is that Kree is meat and potato. <laughs> it's got a couple other things. We're gonna find out it's soon. One more question after this. Where's your mac and cheese? <laughs> My specialty is macaroni. <laughs> I mean, if it's really good macaroni, hell yeah. <laughs> but just telling somebody that. <laughs> just be like, uh, uh huh. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, if it's Fuka again, then ah. All right, Curry is the winner. Are you absolutely yeah, sure? sure? All right, I'd be more relieved if you were the one cooking it. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Jeez. It's Yosuke's fault for having a weak stomach. <sighs> you guys. Yes. There's five of them. Please be careful. Ooh, the mysterious lady. I hope she notices me. What? Teddy? <laughs> Leader has been turned to stone. He can't do anything. OBS is having trouble connecting to chat. It keeps reloading. Nice. Good, Moodoon. Break the rotten mouth! All the choices so far. They're getting a girl. We like to stay inside. We like those that look after others. We do a technology club. We'll start by being friends. Uh, I'd like to be in a shark tank. We would apologize. And we'd eat a plate of sugar. We like- we- our specialty is curry. Hell yeah! And so, you can- which kind of prize would you want to win? 
surprise. Big. Many. Small. <laughs> All right. One big prize, which that's how how hi, you dreaming about something? It doesn't feel like it's... Ah! Uh. Yeah, he's... He's just chilling. Big one. Okay. Are you absolutely sure? I know, right? It's totally gotta be that. You yes. Have some this well then. All right, Dustin, partner time. Let's go. Your destined partner. Huh? Ah. Why am I here? We got Fuka again. Wait, what? Does this mean? I'm his destined partner? Um, what should I do? We've only just met, so... No! I mean, the interaction will be mildly different, because it's not... her leader. But, yeah. Ow! I landed right on my butt! Oh, leader! Thank goodness you're okay. Um... I was navigating with Rise-chan until a moment ago, but suddenly I realized I'd been summoned someplace else. You guys just like Fuka too know much, what that's was going all. On. Fuka's your favorite character, confirmed. Chad's collective favorite character is Fuka. <laughs> that's what we'll go with. Huh? What? Uh, um, our hands! It seems you have reached your destination. This seems to be a path where lovers who met their destined partners discuss their love for each other. What could be waiting up ahead? No! You are free to step this forth wonderful. hand in hand, curiosity and fear in your hearts, or you can refrain. L lovers But that's... You are free to step forth, or... Refrain from doing so. These are your apparent options. Now, step forth. P please wait. What are we supposed to do with our hands? Nothing. Oh, uh, um, what should we do about this? Your hands trembling. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I've never held hands like this with anyone before, so... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being too self-conscious about it, aren't I? Well, um, 
Should we try going onward for now? At least there's been one consistency. They're all from Persona 3. <gasps> it's just the two of us. This is also true. But I'll do my best not to get in your way. After you. Ah, that startled me. Up ahead, they see they confirm. Huh? Is there something over there? dressed up like this and i've never been held bridal style before either huh wait wait a second there's something off about this picture i think it's a fake yes a manipulated photo it's fine oh um th that picture was more like a prince and a princess than a wedding <laughs> no <laughs> in fairy tales the prince the always should be goes for the princess at the end, dear. and they get happily married. I thought that was so wonderful. Actually, I've dreamed of that ever since I was young. That's why seeing that picture was like experiencing it for myself. It made my heart race. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blather about my dream. Oops. Hmm? Oh, but... I'm bad at cooking. My hobby is tinkering with machines. I didn't even see what the options were. I pressed A so, so fast. I'm not feminine at all. So, um, still, thank you. I thought you'd think I was childish for having dreams like that. I'm happy you were willing to listen. Um, so, th that's probably it for this place. <laughs> well, should... Shall we get going? Things feel a bit awkward now. Give Fuka all the head pats. Yes. Uh, um... I have a question. Or more like, something I want to talk to you oh, about. Oh yeah, you get stopped here if it's a girl. Um, well, once you're married, is there anything you'd want your wife to do for you? That makes sense. If you could always be with who you love, conveying your feelings to them all the time, that would be bliss. You'd be able to hold each other's hands like this. <laughs> um, I, I didn't mean anything by that. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't quite put it all together. Luca's hand warms up a bit. Um, then shall we get going? Right. Before we're wed? Through your own free- Huh? Uh, um, does that mean if we go into this church, we'll really be married? Mm -hmm. Now, open the door, together. Pretty sure if that were genuinely the case, uh, Z would be s flayed alive and burned. <laughs> By multiple people. <laughs> We really don't have a choice. Uh, please, wait! You must vow your... now. No! I won't allow this! Hold it right there! Your companions come rushing in, gasping for breath. At the same time, your hands finally come unstuck. A forced wedding of this sort is not a valid marriage. It must be cancelled at once! Oh. I think Yukari was the one who was like, No, this is not happening. If you're the Persona 3 protagonist. You were all safely reunited with your companions. I think it's just the, per the Persona 3 people are like, Whoa, maybe don't do that. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> and this would be correct. In most scenarios. I mean, 
uh, I kind of want to do it again, but also, I, uh, I mean, we got who we got, right? <laughs> we got to keep going. Oh, you know what I huh. didn't do? Welcome. I realized I was so focused on um, getting through there that I forgot to fight the FOE for, for the request. Ah! So we're going back in there anyway. I was so engrossed <laughs> with getting the Justin Barner thing in that I didn't even, I didn't, I totally forgot that we were also here for a very specific purpose. There are three enemies. The threat level is low. These fights with snakes can be tight. Get it? Teddy, that was not funny. That's the last of them. Yeah, that was a breeze. <laughs> It's this one, right? Because it says they could appear on stop two and stop four. There's only one type here. There were three enemies. We get to move first. What the? Good. That's the last of them. <laughs> I love taking them out this fast. There's no... There's literally no way to get past this guy. I'm gonna get shot. Hey, get it together! It's dangerous to get that close to the FOE! Eh! We need to kill it anyway. We should be able to defeat this FOE. Yeah, should be fine. Heat riser... Dead. I mean, to be expected, honestly. Come, Rockton Mouth! I'm surprised Brain Shake puts him to That's the last of them. <laughs> well, he crit. <laughs> nice. Hello, Lilith. We're unstoppable! We're almost level 71. Pretty good. She's growing up too!
All right. <laughs> Thing that I should have done while we were doing the uh, questions. <laughs> Have been done. <laughs> I was thinking more like it Welcome. would make them confused or I guess panic in this case. Thank you. This is indeed the white floral hair ornament. Thank you very much. To think that you have uh, that you have grown strong enough to defeat that beast, I can hardly believe my eyes. If my eyes do eventually betray me, then I'm sorry to say that I will have to blame you. By the way, I will use this hair ornament for some flower fortune telling. Theo and I will take turns pulling off a petal, and the one who pulls the last one will treat the other to takoyaki. Hmm. There are five petals, so I will allow him to go first. This will be your reward. <laughs> Ah, uh, Elizabeth. What is marriage? What is it? Oh. Uh, it's you. That guardian from earlier. What did you think of it? He was strong now. He seemed fishy. Hmm. Fish. Is that so? I suppose your sense of smell is better than mine. Because of its odd speech, I couldn't understand everything it was saying. But it mentioned something about God. Was this God created by mankind? I don't know. I see. In the realm of Persona, it's usually man made the God. Because all of them, so far, all of them have been the case. Nyarlathotep was not an exception. <laughs> mankind created God, then it must be something that mankind needs. Zen seems to be lost in thought. Now that, that I think me. about it. Did you get married? I forget it. <laughs> hmm? Forget it? You're asking me to forget even more? Having no memories is like reaching out and touching nothing. It never bothered me until you arrived. But now... Zed is lost in thought. Hmm? Are the preparations to go into the next labyrinth complete? Ensuring that all your companions are ready may be troublesome, but it's your duty. They're relying on you. Something about you makes them feel that way. It seems Zen acknowledges your skills. I'll be counting on you. More for me when you decide to go into the labyrinth. Okay! No haunted houses. Food court. Your, com your companions are all sighing. <sighs> Ooh, senpai. Not feeling well? Hmm. I'm just not sure about this. The next labyrinth looks a lot like a haunted house. It's fine for you, Risei-san. We're the ones who have to physically walk through it, you know. <sighs> Ugh, jeez. Maybe we can just dash straight through. I swear, there's gonna be something there. Jeez. Stop it! No talking about any mysterious something. Mm. It's still a labyrinth, so won't there be obstacles? Like hands coming out of the walls, getting locked in a room where the ceiling lowers, boulder traps. That turned into an action thriller in the middle there. Horochan, you shouldn't get your hopes up, or you're just going to be disappointed. I bet it'll be dark inside, and they'll have wet towels hanging just to freak us out. He is asking whether there will be any meaty bones hanging down. Mm -hmm. It's a haunted house, not an eating contest. <laughs> I bet Chie would win if it was. I'm pretty sure Chie Senpai could get through any labyrinth if she smelled meat inside. <laughs> Are you saying you won't lose any contests with meat on the line? Okay, I guess if anything does show up, I'll just tell myself it's only a piece of meat. You sure you can convince yourself like that? Hmm, not really. <laughs> I'll do my best to protect everyone. I'll fire my Vulcan cannons as well. Hmm? Wait, 
Do you even have Vulcan cannons? You enjoyed some time with your companions. It wasn't a good joke. Alright, save! It's time. This is the next one. I guess it's a type of haunted house you walk around in? What? What am I supposed to do if my knees give way? The ghosts will be all over me! What are you all pissed about? Come on, this is just another display at a culture festival. I hope so. I kind of wanted to go in. You don't mind scary stuff, Vukachan? It scares me, but that's what makes it kind of fun. Can you not handle it, Risei-chan? Maybe if I was with everyone else, but it's too creepy alone. I've never felt so relieved that I can only provide backup. Oh, but Senpai, I think I could manage it if I was alone with you. Let's do it with everyone. I said alone with you. You always try and skirt the issue like that. Because I don't want to do it alone with you. Sheesh, this girl. You all get along so well. Mm-hmm. That may be our greatest strength. I see. That sounds nice. Uh, uh, oh, we should probably get going. Just standing around won't help. True. Let's go. Kanji will protect you now, Toe. <laughs> uh, what are you saying? That's right. Kanji-kun is trustworthy, uh, of course. But it isn't nice to force me on him just because we're in the same year. What? Hey, uh... Anyway, I'll be fine on my own. Uh, um... Oh. Darn it. Attempt at wingmanning it did not work. <laughs> Only two more to go. I'm sure that another guardian will be protecting something in the depths here. Ray, there's no need to be frightened. Don't worry. I'll protect you. will protect Raison as well. Yes. That would be helpful. I'll protect Raychan too. No need. Teddy discrimination isn't cool. <laughs> Having a mutt be nice to me doesn't make me happy at all, you know. Hey, Teddy, will you stop picking on Korochan? Come here, Korochan. I'll pet you. <laughs> Teddy discrimination isn't cool at all. It's fine, Teddy. Don't worry. You'll get over it. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Velvet Room... Hey, what have you been doing all this time? I'm asking the cards what's supposed to happen here. Huh. Margaret spreads the tarot cards on the table and draws one. The tower again. What did the tower arcana mean again? Hmm. Jeez. Can't you tell I'm bored? I'm sorry that I'm not better company. Why not go eat some takoyaki again? It's no fun eating alone. Are they coming or what? They'll be here in due time. You need to learn some patience. It's not like I'm dying for them to get here. Stop treating me like such a kid. I'm fine on my own. There's some stuff I want to do too. Marie pulls out a stationary set and starts scribbling on it. Tower, huh? Let's see. To the bird. A bird trapped in a cage. A tower closer to the heavens than the earth. Um... To the horse. Run away through it all. Overcome the countless nights. Gallop free! Ugh. Oh. Hey! Mind your own business! I've been curious for a while. Why is it that you create poems? Huh? They're not poems. They're songs. It's just my pathos screaming out. Is that so? That's... Hmm. My apologies. Whatever. You got in my way. I'm not getting any inspiration from this tower thing either. Collapse. That is what the tower represents. Collapse? Of course, there are various interpretations. But its primary meaning is collapse. 
Perhaps. This is no ordinary festival. It may be the culture festival that destroys the world. Destroys? The world? Huh. You're quite the lyricist, too. That wasn't too bad. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Evil Spirit Club time! Woo! Whoa, they didn't do this half-assed. Hey, Chie! What, what, what do you want? Dude, don't yell like that. You're freaking me out, too. <laughs> I'm not freaking out. This is nothing. And... What are you so terrified of? It's just dark in here. You're not scared, Zen? I am not. Nothing scares me. Th that's so cool. <laughs> nothing scares me, either. Ray Chan, nothing scares me either. Mm, I'm so scared. Totally ignored! Hey, uh, does anyone feel like uh, they're being watched? Oh, stop it! That has to be your imagination! I found this. <laughs> no! <laughs> Chie, look! <laughs> the eyes! <laughs> it's eyes! <laughs> I guess. No more. I want to go back. There, there. <laughs> Fine. I'll keep going. It's okay, Chie. No! Oh, I take it back! I can't do this! It's okay, Chie-senpai. It was only a spider which dropped from the ceiling. Spider. I can't handle bugs either. Fine, can we get going? Let's hurry up and finish this. Gee, that's the wrong way. Oh, I said that something. You hit squeeze. Ow! Gee, John, if you're gonna step on me, be more gentle about it. Sheesh. We've got too many people. We can't let out of our sight. It was a very, it was a very real scream. Ray, make sure to never leave my side. If you're scared, then hide under my cape. Mm, thanks. You did it! You've almost finished exploring this floor. Oh yeah, the the shortcut sound effect. Ooh, some of these doors are locked. I remember that being the case. I did not keep the notes. Right? Oh. Hmm? Oh, there's something on the ground. Is this a piece of paper? I see. For Maru-san that says that he smells a mystery from that piece of paper. What does a mystery smell like? Could it be the scent of blood? Hmm. I have no answer to that. Anyway, let's take a look. We'll go from there. Hmm? Something written in red here. What you search for is deepest within. You cannot reach the lowest depths until all locked doors are open. Hmm. That's all it says. Uh, I wonder if this place will be deep too. It's five floors. Hmm. I don't know, but we'll need to go to the very deepest part. It seems we'll need to find those keys and the doors they unlock. We may be in for a long stretch. Let's brace ourselves and take the first steps. We found a treasure box! <gasps> Is it filet mignon? Gormaru! Huh? Do you see something up ahead? There's nothing here. Come on, Teddy, let's head back. Wowza! My foot's first caught in the floorboards! I'm stuck! Damn it. Sheesh, how'd that happen? Here, give me a sec. Huh. It's caught pretty good. So... Um, sorry, but I think I heard a sound from the direction where we came from. Crap! Seriously? Uh, no! 
<laughs> Is it a shadow? Come on, let's hurry and go defeat it. Wait! Wait! Don't leave me behind! Hmm. Stupid old board! Let me go! Hey, quit squirming around! This is gonna damage my cuticles! Why don't I go check it out? Might have just been the walls settling. Daddy, don't freak out. Just stay calm while you get while we get your fur unstuck. Uh... You're so nice, boss. Can't go alone. I'm coming with. Let's go, Aki. Yeah. Right. You No, it's just as dangerous to split up too much. If someone's going, it can be either Beastie and Taco. Or Shinjiro and Akihiko. Oh, shit. Hmm. I'll go with Zebby. Yeah. Okay, time to go, Z. Slightly removed corner. Don't see anything weird, do you? Maybe it was just his imagination. Ah! Oh. Let's go back. Teddy looks like he's free. Hold on a sec. Zebby caught the shadow off guard. All right, now's our chance. Let's do this, everyone. All oh, right. nice one. Come on, let's take this thing down. I need to actually look at what we're about to fight. What a suspicious looking cape. Okay, we're good. A party full of front row people. Had a good time. Uh, I'm so sorry. So, what did that sound turn out to be? It didn't seem like anything, really. Maybe the wind blowing through some cracks moved something around. Hard to say. Uh, I see. I um, I'm sorry. You decide to return to your investigation. Okay. Did you guys just hear a baby crying? What? Hey, don't say stuff like that. Oh, come on. I bet on. you're just trying to scare us again for no reason because you never learn. No. No, I heard it as well. What? What? No way. <sighs> you don't trust me at all, huh? Sheesh. There's nothing here. There's no ghosts or babies anywhere. I mean, ghosts don't exist. I see. I see. Then I take back what I said. I heard nothing. That is all. Uh, yeah, okay. of course there's nothing here. Uh, nope, uh, there's definitely something here. No! <sighs> Make up your mind. Should I go look around and calm it down? No, He'll man. just make it cry. What? what the hell, man? Hey, be quiet. You're making it hard to listen. Let's be careful here. You heard something rattle. What? Huh? What was that sound? You sense an ominous presence behind you. <laughs> Everyone run! That's an FOE! Um... Where did it come from? <laughs> Figure it out later. We gotta run now. You don't have to tell me twice. The FOE is coming towards us. <laughs> Bye. <sighs> that was close. No signs of the FOE anymore. I guess I won't follow you through doors. <sighs> I've had enough of this place. You 
Kari chan, don't lose heart. I'm curious, did anything out of the ordinary happen when you were walking around that area? Hmm. We heard the sound of a rattle, right? A baby's toy. Yeah. It sounded like a bell. It was a very mysterious sound. Maybe the FOE was drawn to that sound. Hmm. Either way, we couldn't avoid passing through that area. If an FOE appears, run away with all your strength. Understood? Sergeant Junpei reporting in. I found something. <gasps> what? <laughs> See that bundle of vapor of it? There might be something written on them. We should check it out. Oh, Can you please on. try to act normal in a place like this? Huh? Er, right. Hmm. You better be careful not to say the wrong thing now. She's seriously on edge. You should check the bundle of paper on the ground up ahead. It looks like the foey stopped chasing us. He calls it the foey too. There's a piece of paper on the ground. On it is written in red, the first key is in the schedule. Huh. This practically screams, hey, I'm a clue. But... But we have not come across a schedule during our journey here. I do not see anything like one here, either. <coughs> Ormar has a piece of paper in his mouth. Huh? This looks related to a schedule, but it isn't one. After shop class is art, before geometry is science. That's the whole thing. Well, maybe it'll be useful later. Have you got it memorized? Did I ever write this down, I wonder? Ah, I hit the mic. Let's check! I did. I've memorized it. <laughs> All right, then let's keep going. Hey, hey, don't you think that wall's kind of go? Sounds like there that. Are three enemies. Or... We get to move first. Teddy rocks all faces. Uh, resist slash, but that's what are you ready to rush them? It's fine, maybe, I guess. Like the foe, he stopped chasing us. Wrong button. <laughs> Sasumata. Hmm. Surely we can kill it in one turn. Hey. 
maybe. Go! We won! Okay. Hello, Orochi. Our victory broke the sound barrier! Bulletin board. Tell me Monday's fourth period and Friday's third period. It was written here in red. Another schedule related hint. <sighs> I've no idea what it's about. Bits and pieces we're getting are too fragmented. We need the actual schedule. I have there found is a it. schedule over here. <laughs> ah, good job, I guess. Right, I wrote that down. Parts of the schedule are faint and illegible. The fourth period on Monday and the third period on Friday are both utterly unintelligible. Nato is lost in thought. What should you do? I shouldn't have done this. Because we only have shop classes before art. have enough information. <laughs> There's something funny about that wall. Uh, check it. Look out! There are two enemies. They have the initiative. Hey, what do you think eh. you're doing? <laughs> That's not good. I believe that enemy is weak to it's fine. Maybe. Leave <laughs> 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 poor Maru and Kanji alone. I don't have any healing, actually. <laughs> Alright. Night, day, now, fall. We won! We're superior! There we go. Poor level 67. Nice. Kanji, you're pretty banged up. Mm. Did you even notice that? Well, I mean, it's not his fault. Okay. <laughs> Newspapers? Could this be some kind of hint? There's nothing but gibberish written on them. Hey now! So they're just to set a mood? That's so misleading! Oh, come yeah, on. she is right. This newspaper is so insensitive. Hmm. You know, it's probably true what they say. Fear just makes people angrier. I think so. But aren't they always like that? Dude, every now and then you say stuff that's just... It's a treasure box! Oh! Oh! What's inside? There are three enemies. The threat level is low. Oh! A slime! So gross! 
I was so angry. <laughs> Stab showers, whatever. All right, Senpai, you're awesome. Amazing! No wonder you're our leader. Nice. Was that really nothing? Wow. Ah, that's one of the locked doors. Hmm. Practice building. <laughs> huh. North building. We're already in the third. Like, either our pace is gonna suddenly start slowing down by a lot, or... We'll be done with this game... <laughs> ...very, very soon. <laughs> like, that... Okay, Eat of a Pride Exhibit is probably the longest dungeon in this game. Just because of how it's Amazing. structured. No wonder you're I'm probably gonna leader. have to actually have a party. I'm gonna keep going. As well as real sub personas that I want to use. Like, I mean, okay, these it's not like these aren't real, but you know what I mean. Actually paying attention to what I get, actually fusing things. So on and so forth. And There's one enemy, and we have the first attack. I want to hear the attack. story of how you two met. Hey, they're stuck yeah, to each that's other. Right. Scrap. How they met? Hello, Suchigumo. Oh no, we are out of slots. We don't need Zezai, that's for sure. Yeah! That was a breeze! Hey, there's that swirly thing again! Swirly thing. Common type, Teddy. Taking longer to kill things through Rush. <laughs> They're still not really doing much 
terms of like damage. <laughs> So I apparently have everything I need. Not there. Ah. Oh, a rare enemy. I, I'll beat it for sure. I need to fuse. Good. I only have up until fifth period for Monday through Friday.
been long enough that I've forgotten, and I never really wrote the solution down. I see. Whoa! <laughs> that... I let Naoto solve this? This is late, but you have a serious question? Go for it. Sorry, I was like, looking down. <laughs> Sorry, I was just hyper-focused mode.
Oh my god, my brain. Nauto. Uh, do I let Nauto solve it again? Uh... Yes. I... I'll admit I didn't see that. Uh, I'm sorry, Jumpy. I just... I was more ready to throw out the information about maimed lionesses and maneless lions. But I didn't... I didn't think you assumed the gender of anything. I... I honestly... I... Sorry, I didn't catch that. That... Nato will solve it here if I keep gathering info. Yeah, if I- I don't know if I leave this, but there's nowhere else to get information. That's like the only thing. My only hints is that shop class is before art. So art is in here somewhere, but it's not art and- it's not art and then it's not civics. But she said that there are five, and there are five days in a school week. So she's doing a grid thing. Did Civic Shop, I don't know. 
the one I need to answer I, that I also don't know, then music, and then science is after that. So I guess, and it's followed up similarly how on Thursday the first class is music, and then the second class is science. So I assume it like cycles? So maybe on Thursday after science. Let me see. Let's test this. I'm curious. Monday's fourth period is language. Friday's third period is civics. Of course. So how how it's solved is, is that if you put it as a grid and you like imagine one of those locks where it's that like dial of letters but imagine it classes and every single dial has the same order of things but they're all spun out of order like they're all spun randomly so because we know from Monday that the first class and the second class are civics followed by shop before the two mystery classes Anytime civic, uh, civics appears, shop classes after it. <laughs> so for Friday, the question mark for the third period has to be civics because the class after that is shop. How you find music is a little more tricky because it's kind of more like going down the line. You can't possibly figure out every single class because there are some ones that are spaced out in a way where it's not possible, but... You assume from Thursday that music is before science. On Monday, Friday, or on Monday, the last period is music, and on Tuesday, the first period is science. So the same rules apply as it goes down the line. Meaning, on Wednesday, the last class is language, and on Thursday, the first class is music. Meaning, most likely, following the same logic behind why we say all of these involving, like, the position- as confirmed from the positions where music and science are one after the other on Thursday, and how Tuesday's science is the first period, whereas Monday, music is the last pe period. If Wednesday's last period is language and Thursday's first period is music, then Monday's fourth period is probably language. That took me too long, but I remember very strongly that I had Nanto solve this for me. <laughs> Impressive. I just figured it out myself. Huh? huh? Am I the only one who doesn't get it? <sighs> Man, you're stubborn. I gave up trying a while ago. I see. Well then, allow me to explain. The schedule is actually repeating a certain pattern. If you'll recall, the information listed on the torn schedule looked like this. And didn't rotate. We did something weird. At my high school, Monday, we did every single class and both elective for... 30 to 40 minutes, depending. And then on... Tuesday through Friday, we would cycle between four classes, and they would be about 90 minutes. 
So, say for instance, like Tuesday and Thursday you'd have science, math, and English, but then on Wednesday and Friday you'd have... I went to a private school, so one of the classes was dedicated to the religion taught at the private school. And, uh, like, history and, um, I forget what the last one would be. I don't even remember all the classes that I took. And then the electives would change based on the day. So on Monday, I had choir and drama. I did both choir and drama for only, like, 20 to 30 minutes. But on Tuesday and Thursday, it was drama. And then on Wednesday and Friday, it was choir. But they were also at different times of the day. Like, when it was choir on Tuesday and Thursday, it was in the middle of the day. But when it was drama on Wednesday and... Or no, when it was Tuesday and Thursday, drama was like the last period of the day. But on Wednesday and Friday, choir was in the middle of the day, like right before lunch. It was kind of bizarre thinking about it. Like, why did we take every single class on Monday? Oh, yeah. And it was also, like, it was combined with middle school and elementary for the main building, so you had to take certain routes depending on what day of the week it was, because you didn't... The, the faculty didn't want you crossing paths with elementary schools, so we had to take, like, the back stairwell when we were... when it wasn't, uh... like, when it, on every day but Monday for our history. And then lockers, because they were in the classrooms, sometimes you had to grab uh, books for multiple classes because you wouldn't actually be able to go to your lockers because, say, like, after lunch, you needed to grab something for math. Well, there'd be a middle school class in, in, the, in your homeroom, so you couldn't grab your books. And it's just like, oh... Yeah, it was weird. I would definitely say 100% unorthodox. A lot of the juniors and seniors, especially once they got their driver's license, we just threw our books in the back of our car, and then when we needed uh, the specific books for the classes, we would go to our car and take the books out. Even though every single year the faculty told us not to do that, we did it anyway. <laughs> Now, if you add up the bits about art being after shop class and geometry being before science. Oh, I didn't do that part, Lamau. Let me actually write this. Shop class, yeah, art. Science. Geo. It looks like that. Huh? So, what? Hmm, <laughs> I get it. There's not enough periods for PE! For crying Just shut out up loud. and listen, you idiot. It's distracting. Mm hmm? Huh? Well, now that I think of it. It's weird. There's way too many electives like music and art. Normal class schedule would have a lot more regular subjects. Let's use some abbreviations to make it easier to understand. Yeah. I didn't do that, though. Notice anything? Huh? <gasps> the two C's and two S's line up diagonally! What? Huh? Do they? What does that mean? <laughs> that is correct, Yukiko Senpai. Monday's first period and Wednesday's second. Tuesday's first and Thursday's second. They form a repeating pattern. If you were to line up the classes Monday through Friday from first to fifth period in order, the way those classes line up diagonally is no coincidence. Hmm. And that is your hypothesis, correct? Yes. yes. All that was left after that was to fill in the blanks. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I think I missed a step somewhere. Basically. Civic shop, art, civic shop, class, art, language, music, science, geometry, home ec, English, study hall, PE. You can see how the 11 subjects repeat in that order. Now, if we fill in the remaining blanks according to that pattern... Yeah. Language, music, geo, home ec, ec. What is the E stand for? English. <laughs> to make shop class art. Geo. Oh my. I didn't have to. 
to do all that now, Toe. Looks like an anagram. Sklom. Skish. Pexcal. Mgri. Shepeska. Shepeska. Sorry. That would be a really hard anagram. That's how it would look. From there, it's simple to pick out Monday's fourth period and Friday's third. The answer has to be language and civics. That concludes my demonstration. Does it make sense now? Yeah, I see the pattern. I knew it! There weren't enough periods for P.E. Just shut up. Alright, I figured it out. Pascal huh? calm heals. Yes. No way. Guys like us are supposed to let others do the talking at times like this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't get it at all. And that's what I figured out. <sighs> oh, I spoke too soon. Well then, let's try putting these into the schedule. The tag that says practice building. Practice building key. Balm of life. Probably because I solved it instead of letting Naoto do it. Well, the mystery has been solved. We should move on. Oh, wow. Nao-chan, Seekun, you're so cool! Hmm. I'm cool too, Rei. Let's proceed. Oh, okay. Chance to run. Try to nab at least one. Don't smirk at me, Supreme Hand. No, to be honest, Chief Wound figured that out. Oh, she is dead. Oh my god, they all dodged it. Chie-chan is unconscious! I didn't the first time. For sure. Get up. I really need agility bind circle. Or what is it called? I don't know. Ah, nice try. But I would have eventually. Eventually. Can you imagine? There are two enemies left. Can you imagine? Their movement. Oh, it's just like. <laughs> okay, good. They're not running away. Finally, jeez. There it goes. Don't you dare run away. What? One enemy left. My circus of miracles is just beginning. Wow. This is a very confident spree man. Its last friend dipped immediately. The other two were like, nah, we got this. <laughs> That? Let's keep training. That's Fortuna done. <laughs> Gosh. I'm sorry you didn't solve it in the right time. In the allotted time frame. You now must play royal again. <laughs> God, that'd be awful. Alright. Uh, we got some new ones down here. Sure. <laughs> Honestly, I could probably... The whole block. I probably should, to be fair. Ah. Huh. Cool. 
don't need Sasamata. Or that. Or that. Oh. I'll keep that. It meant it didn't take me six months to solve that one puzzle, and then we got to Royal now for the first time! Oh. That's true. Oh. because you could use Naoto to try to, like, gar garner hints before just letting her solve it. The other puzzle that's in here, it's literally just you fuck up twice and then Naoto tells you, and it's like, bruh. It's too scary. Third floor concession alley at Sweet Tail. <sighs> you guys look like the walking dead. These two have been like this ever since we went into the most recent labyrinth. Hmm. Mm. Is this a fish out of water? Huh? What? I thought you were mimicking one. Oh, Hell no! On. Are you stupid or something? Do me a favor and shut up or go away. Right now. Oh. Yikes. Scary. I think the labyrinth has everyone exhausted. Good what? Grief. That place? There's nothing in there worse than shadows we've always faced. Strongest wins. Not even creeped out by the baby FOE. It's true that they've been getting stronger. We'll have to stay sharp as we move on. Let's I feel see. certain that's not the issue at hand. I'm gonna ask this straight out. Is Akiko san always like that? Hmm. Always. Oh, <laughs> wow. It must be tough. <sighs> no me need to pity me. Gee, you've got great lower body strength, but you seem to be lacking in stamina. Do you run? If you neglect your basic training, you won't be able to shoot for the moon. What? The moon. What's this moon stuff? Why would you shoot at it? <laughs> hey, what? Master! What? Huh? I'm counting Please, on let me call you master! Huh? What is this? Is there a hidden camera somewhere? <laughs> All right. Let's do 20 laps around the schoolyard. Come on. <laughs> yes, sir. And they're off. Hmm. Maybe something broke in Chie-san for being so scared of ghosts. What? On the contrary, she's always that way. <sighs> uh, I feel even more tired now. Curious about the spider. Food court. Your companions seem to be engaged in a serious discussion. Hey. Oh, hi. We were just talking with Zen when something interesting came up. Hmm. Do you recall the spider from earlier? The one we ran across in the labyrinth? You know, the one that dropped from the ceiling and made Chie freak out? It's been weighing on me. I don't know why. Do you remember a spider? No. My memories. I don't know. Huh. You know, now that we're talking about this, I actually saw a spider back home, too. Hmm? Back home? At Yasugami High. The real one, I mean. But there was a spider when we were heading over to Margaret's fortune teller booth. I mean, spiders aren't rare or anything, so maybe it's just a coincidence. Um... Uh, actually, I saw one, too. In Tartarus, before we found ourselves here. What did you say? true, Yamagishi. Uh, yes, um... I had forgotten about it, because right after that was when we appeared in the Velvet Room. Hmm. This may be serious. In Tartarus, normal organisms don't. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If only I had noticed it sooner. Hmm. You can worry about it if it shows up again. I don't think there's any need to worry just because two of us saw a spider. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. But if it ends up being an enemy, I'll be counting on your backup, Fuku-chan. Uh, of course! I'll give it a try! I'll do my best! <laughs> uh, yeah. That's only if it does happen to be an enemy. You don't have to go into red alert right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll do my best. You enjoyed some time with your companions. Any requests? Well. Nope. 
Oh, poem time. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Poem time. Dear teacher, if you were my teacher, I'd want you to teach me the pounding of my heart, the distance formula to you. How many seconds till I fall for you? Please, please, teach me. Where could it be? The remote to make you notice me. Whose fault is it? It's like I'm not myself anymore. Why is it? Looking at sunsets makes me cry. But what I really want to learn is the one and only T-R-U-T-H. Please, please, teach me. Yes, sir! written this poem as well. Ah! Did you read it? You read it! Why? You're making no sense at all! To be honest, the Japanese VA for Marie, I I've forgotten how Marie responds when she said, ah! She, it was such a normal scream compared to the in Q2 where there's no English voice acting, where she goes, ah! She's like way more upset. <laughs> I told you not to read them. That's the one and only truth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I remember that so vividly, but she had that over the top, drawn out, like shriek of terror. Stupid, I hate you worse, teacher. Go away. That's probably why my my Q2 uh, voicing got so wonky because I was trying to remember what they sounded like in English, but for some of them that I really couldn't get a grasp on but I was still hearing the way they sounded because of the Japanese VA, it was sort of like a mash of what I was trying, what I was scrabbling to remember for how they sounded in English combined with how they sound in Japanese. <laughs> I feel like that's that was basically what happened. Why is it on the ground again? It makes no sense. I just remember Ziku going in reading it in the velvet room and then the and then just the raptor shriek before Marie came into the room. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> in any case, what would you like to do? You can't sleep? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Apparently I never used Orochi much, but I definitely fused... Him. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna mess with these. Uh, however, I still need to do fusions, so... Let's look for stuff that I haven't gotten before. White Rider. Fine. Scorching Blast. We got Genbu. Oh, poor, Anub <laughs> poor Anubis. I don't want to get rid of White Rider since I actually need that. <laughs> I 
probably Kazuchi. Uh, Scarecrow. Also, Scorching Blast, why not? Poison Breath. Life Song. <laughs> Marie, I didn't read. You did. Yeah, you read it for us and everything. I only need... Seven. One, two... I have more than seven. <laughs> Shubu, De Karabia, Sushibu, Rochi, Genbu. That's unfortunate. Hailstorm. Seven, so probably one more triangle or dupe spread, and then basilisk. Oshubu, Lilith, Omitsuno, Anubis, Tsuchigumo, I have to. It has to be Anubis. That's so sad, but it has to be Anubis. Ooh, body shield. He's not going to be able to pass that skill on, but I wonder... I have a thought. I never ended up getting rid of Fortuna, that sucks. <laughs> hmm. Maybe he should have Basilisk, actually. Why only seven? Because that's five party members, two navs. Five, six, seven. Bruh, I'll get Cormar. Teddy, you can have Dekarabia. She can have Lola. I'm not really thinking about what a pers what personas would go good with what people, because I'll probably just spend money to summon what I want. Unless I get something where I'm like, ah, yes. The main thing that I'm waiting for is Margaret to tell me that um, I can take skill cards off of personas, because I do think that it takes way too long for this game to let you do that. And that's really when you start making your teams. Because finally, people's primary personas are not exclusively limited to four skills and whatever cards you manage to scrounge from doing side stuff. It's why Ken has Megiddo. I think I gave him the skill card for it. And then when I got it again, I was like, I really don't need this on anybody because I would rather try to get like Megiddo on or something. Like what I did for Naoto. I think that's almost exactly what I did. So let's see. Ah, I gave her Media, and then I gave her Tempest Slash, and then I gave her Impure. She naturally learned Mahamon, Mamodu, Megidolon, and Powerhouse, which those four skills by themselves aren't necessarily bad, but uh... You know. <laughs> Impure Reach is what really makes it shine. That's sort of how. That's sort of how the logic go. Also, thank you, Jumpy. When I sneezed earlier. Ah, uh, but it is 9:30, so we will probably wrap up there. Uh, it's been exactly six hours on the dot on Twitch. It's only been five hours forty minutes for YouTube, but that's whatever. 
it's, it's been six hours. <laughs> I think it's a really fun skill, but it is quite expensive. And sometimes it really only does damage when it's paired with the correct things when you're playing it. Meanwhile, an enemy unit, it'll just do and it's like, ugh. <laughs> so I can see why Megadolon is not all that because it's like, oh no, I don't want to deal with this thing using Megadolon. But when you have it, it's like, oh wow, I can only use this maybe three times. <laughs> <laughs> I never really ended up using Megadolon with Naoto. I think my final fight, I actually don't know if I had Naoto in the party because I knew Naoto wasn't going to do anything because the insta-kills don't work on bosses. I'm, I maybe might not have brought her to the final boss, I don't remember. I mean, she had Medea as like emergency healing it. <laughs> she can use it 400 times with this SP, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll put the HP SP swap on him and make him the white mage. Or not the white mage, the black mage. The white mage is the healer. And I already said I was gonna try to do that to Yosuke. <laughs> My final- my final team is gonna be like me, Shinji, Yosuke, and I guess, and then I have to come up on the fly with like who would mesh well with that group. We may have to do some experimenting. Because <laughs> I know- we are- I've already talked about this, the easy duo that always goes together, even in both Q and Q2, is Shinji Aki. And we managed to separate the two. <laughs> for the finale, where it was all the protagonists except for po four protag because Shinji took a spot. Ah. <laughs> you know, he usually winds up in my far final party. When it comes to this this style of game, I guess, there's really only two instances where he's been the f in the final battle because he physically can't be in the game he comes from. <laughs> Unless you are emulating and hack him in because you can. <laughs> I've seen videos of people doing that. It's not like it breaks the game any in any capacity because it's not like Izanami where it's scripted. Like a scripted event happens uniquely to the final fight and you know, because he's not programmed to be there, it would, like, freak the game out. You know, the- what is it called? The call- the- You know the one, where it's like, ah, and the, all your teammates, like, push you out of the way and die. Weird he doesn't come back if he finishes socially. Ex that is kind of weird, but I wonder if it's just because they didn't want to program him into the end game. Even though that doesn't make sense. But I also wonder if they didn't want the story to be too different and they thought it would be weird if he was just kind of like there but never says anything <laughs> to anyone if it's voice acted. I wonder if it was something like that, where they didn't want to give they didn't want to give him more lines to read or program his presence in any of the final scenes. Cause like Unless he's like Ken, he'd have to go to the school trip. How do you incorporate him in that? Make up Marie excuses. Yeah, he could be. Yeah, that's also possible. That's the thing. He's such a ghost when he's actually there. Then it's like, it really wouldn't be impossible to just make... Every day a new reason he's not there, but can be back for dungeon. Yeah. I don't know. I guess because of the handheld version that 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 becomes an option, they just didn't- they either didn't want to bother, or they weren't sure they were actually going to be able to successfully incorporate something like that. So instead of death, it's just coma until- Hey, he shows up right at the end, but it's like, yeah, that is kind of weird. But anyway, I think it is time we say goodbye to YouTube. We've been staring at the screen for a little too long. Goodbye, YouTube. 
Yes, goodbye. Seventeen hours, thirty-four minutes. Damn! And we're in the third labyrinth. Holy shit! Well, new game plus. <laughs> that is short. That is indeed quite short. <laughs> 